All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I'm gonna give all praises, honor, and glory due. Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rekar Kadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to the hopeful elect, pushing this word in truth and in sincerity. Shalom, first and foremost, all praises, honor, and glory due to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, and Karkadash. Double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to the hopeful elect, pushing this word in truth and in sincerity. To the Israelite foreigners scattered throughout the four corners of the earth who may look like the heathen nations. And to the very few sisters that listen and learn. All right, to you, Shalom. I'm the brother Yasharala with Great Millstone, Chicago. Gonna get a quick lesson. Well, they think they're in the truth, but they uh, they scoff you. All right. Whether it's the doctrine, whether it's how you look, your outward appearance. All right. So you're gonna you're gonna encounter these things one way or another. All right. Damn, it's cold as shit out here. Hold on, let me cross the street. All right, so this is um, I'm gonna start in the book of uh, Second Peter three, and let me see. three and uh one it says this second epistle beloved i write unto you in both which i stir up your pure minds by way of remembrance it says that ye may be mindful of the words which were spoken before by the holy prophets and of the commandment of of us the apostles of the Lord and Savior. It says, um, knowing this first, that there shall come in the last days scoffers walking after their own lusts. So you're going to have scoffers in the last days walking after their own lusts. All right. Their own desires. They're going to be going after their own fleshly pleasures and that covers a multitude of things all right so it was said that there was going to be scoffers in the last days all right so this is a uh, this is something that was told to us aforetime all right and it's 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 getting worse and worse the closer we get to the end you know especially uh Especially on TikTok, there's a whole bunch of damn scoffers on TikTok. You know, we don't really get them as much on the street anymore. All right. We used to get a lot of them out on the highways and byways. But, um, you know, we were told that these things were going to happen. All right. So we've been warned that there was going to be people who are just going to not agree. And they're going to disagree because... Ultimately, the truth goes against their their own vain opinions and thoughts. All right. I'm going to set up right here. Give me a second. Let me set my tripod up. Got to camp a little early today. I thought I'll uh, do a quick lesson. A little warm up before we get to the real uh, camp session. Let me set this up. How is that noise? All right. Yeah, and 
it's uh it's like 20 degrees out here hey hey shot home brother Shalom. All right, got the brother Iwa Lum. Shalom. All right, he just pulled up. Grab, uh, when you get a chance, grab, um, get Axe 13 and uh, 41. Damn, it's cold as shit today. Ugh. All right, so. Acts 13 and 41. So we were told that these things were going to happen. All right. We we're told that we we're going to get scoffers. Which that's fine. Y'all can scoff all you want. Oh, crap. Hey, this is the book of Acts 14 and uh, 31. Yeah. Acts 13 and 41. 13 and 41. So lock it. This is the book of Acts 13 and 41. And it reads, Behold ye despisers and wonder and perish, for I work a work in your days, a work which ye shall in no wise believe. Right. Though a man, oh, so, go ahead, go ahead. Though a man declare it unto you. Right, so the, so the Father is uh, working a work in these days that the people ain't going to believe, though it was declared unto you. All right? So... That, and that's where the scoffers come in, all right? Because the work that we're working is something that they can't they can't understand. So um, we're declaring it, but they can't re receive it, all right? And and then that's where you get um, uh, these people scoffing the Israelite foreigners. You got people scoffing the names. All right, you got people scoffing the doctrine. All right, why? Because read it again. This is the book of Acts 13 and 41. It says, Behold, ye despisers and wonder and perish, for I work a work in your days, a work which ye shall in no wise believe, though a man declare it unto you. So the work is being declared, all right, but they just can't receive it. All right. And and nine times out of ten, when somebody can't receive it, it ultimately goes against what they believe. And then they come with the rebuttals and um, uh, and the scoffs right behind it because it goes against what they were taught and what they believe. Shalom, on, brother. I get one play real quick. This is uh, the book of Romans, three and three. It says, "For what if some did not believe? Shall their unbelief make the faith without faith of Yahweh without effect?" It says, "Yahweh forbid." Yea, yea, let Yahweh be true, but every man a liar, as it is written, that thou mightest be justified in thy sayings, and mightest overcome when thou art judged. Right, so at the end of the day, it doesn't matter if you believe or not, you know, because the words of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai will still stand at the end of the day. You know? Fine. Yeah, so it doesn't matter if you don't believe or not, you know. That's what does say if the Bible, all right, the scriptures say what it says, all right. And and look at you could you could go into the scriptures right and it is say thus saith the Lord and you don't even need to break the script it, it'll break itself down but people but the ones who were taught these false doctrines for so long all right in their cognitive dissonance all right they still won't accept it because oh well I wasn't taught that in church or that's not what I was told but it's what the scriptures say though. You know, so who cares if you don't believe or not? Because at the end of the day, the word is still going to stand, whether you believe it or not. You got it? Yep, this is Ecclesiastes 11 and 9. It says, Rejoice, O young man, in thy youth, and let thy heart cheer thee in the days of thy youth, and walk in the ways of thine heart and in the sight of thine eyes. But know thou that for all these things, the Most High will bring thee into judgment. And like the brothers is going into, man, who cares if we don't believe? Does, does your, your unbelief make uh, avoid the faith? All right, hey, the scripture say it plain, man. Live your life, oh young man. Go ahead, but for all those things, you're gonna be brought into judgment, and that's what's going on now. The scriptures are speaking and not and they're not lying. 
I went, what we had uh, about we had 31 trillion in debt. It's probably more than that. That, that ceiling. <laughs> All right, we at that ceiling, man. We at that breaking point, man. Verse 10, therefore remove sorrow from thy heart and put away evil from thy flesh for childhood and youth of vanity. All right, hey, Jake got that second childhood, that Peter Pan syndrome, man. We're talking about serious topics. We're addressing salvation. We're addressing judgment. We're addressing uh, 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 life and death. All right, we're addressing the kingdom of heaven. And Jake fucking playing around, walking around, doing St. Patrick's Day and all kind of fucking fun. Right. It says, put away evil from thy flesh. I have one more. So like, this is Sirach 42 and 8. Alright? Because we here to inform the, the, the young and the old. Alright? So you, you old heads, y'all gotta listen up too, man. Be not, Sirach 42 and 8, be not ashamed to inform the unwise and foolish and the extreme age that contended with those that are young. Thus shall thou be truly Excuse approved me. and I'm approved just fascinated of all men living. All right, so we 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 inform the the unwise, the foolish, and the extreme age as well. All right, because you got a lot of old bottles who think they know something, but everything is about to change, man. The currency is about to change. The way you spend, the make way you make money, is about to completely fucking change. But you're gonna have people scoff and say, "Oh, about the RFID radio frequency identification device," which we've been saying for our, our elders been saying for well over thirty years. Right, but now that it's coming to fruition, you know, you, you're not going to be able to scoff then. It's either you're going to take it and be destroyed, or you're not going to take it and be pursu uh, pursued after by the, the enemy. That's right. All right. Hey, because I, so like I work with a lot of people who they tell the same story, man. I'm just here till I'm 60 and then I'm out of here. Exactly. Man, I got 20 years on my 401k. I just need about five more and then I can finally uh, uh, leave. All right. But guess what? They gonna lock all your shit up because they not gonna be able to pay it out. All right, just like I, I think this, it was seventy five percent of the people at the at the, uh, the uh, Silicon Valley Bank they they were not insured, so they not gonna get their money back. Good. Yeah, you niggas are not gonna get your money back. All right, we've been telling you for the longest, man. This this digital shit is an unrighteous balance. Yeah. All right, because they control the ups, the downs, the ins and outs, the reprint of the more bills and all this shit. All right, even the king, even the field. Guess what? They control all the fields. They control all the resources. You got to go to them right, for one of all things. Y'all This is the book of Jude 1 and 18. It says, how that they told you there shall be mockers in the last time who shall walk after their own ungodly lust. Right. So you're going to have mockers. You know, people that are uh, uh, shit talkers, legit prof. Look, you got legit on TikTok, on YouTube, uh, all platforms in the streets. Yep. All right, which we're out in the streets as the Lord commanded us to come out in the highways and byways, which cold a lot of hell. cold as hell. <laughs> which a lot of you, uh, us, a lot of you goofball uh, Israelites, you don't come out and teach. You're just a bunch of. Uh, um, Virtual Israelites, because all you do is virtually prophesy the word. Y'all don't come out in the streets, right? We're gonna have mockers out here. Expe and uh, uh, what's this? One of Merce's favorite scriptures: uh, hazarding their lives. Get that? Because you uh, you uh, keyboard warriors. All right, you um, behind the camera in in your nice, cozy, warm crib with your hot cocoa and your marshmallows. All right, you ain't gonna come out here and do the work, but you're gonna be on the on the comment board talking shit. All right, you're gonna be the mockers. We see them all the time. You got professional shit talkers talking shit about the word of God. <laughs> okay. Hey, uh, so like you read that again. The last, uh, read it again though. I want to make a point in the last the last point. Uh, this is the book of Jude one and eighteen, and it says how that they told you. There shall be mockers in the last time who should walk after their own ungodly lust. Right, and that's the point. They go after their own lust, their own desires, their own pleasures, their own feelings. Well, I feel and I think it doesn't, who cares what you feel and think? I'm trying to turn up. Right, they're trying to live their best life and because ultimately this word goes against their future plans. Yeah. Like the brother was talking about 401k and five more years until look that's all coming to a wrap bro <laughs> them niggas salivating over that bro. 
Right. You got that? Yep. Go hey, ahead. Acts 15. What does it say? Be not deceived. The heavenly father is not mocked. Yep. It's not a game. All right. Acts 15 to 26. Uh, it says, men that have hazarded their lives for the name of our Lord, Yahweh Shai Hamashiach. Read up a verse. Okay. Verse 25. Matter of fact, verse 24. It said, for as much as we have heard that certain which went out from us have troubled you with words, subverting your souls, saying, ye must be circumcised and keep the law to whom we gave no such commandment. It seemed good unto us being assembled with one accord to send chosen men unto you with our beloved Barnabas and Paul, men that have hazarded their lives for the name of our Lord, Yahweh Shai Mashiach. Right. So you got men who hazard their lives to push this word, to push this gospel. All right. But then you're going to have those who are going to scoff and talk shit about that. Oh, you guys are, we're out in the cold. What do they used to call us? Snow dummies. You know, we're out here in the cold bundled up. Y'all are a bunch of bums. Y'all are a bunch of deadbeats. When uh, little do you know, we got, we got jobs. We own houses. We own vehicles, you know. So it's all a part of what comes with the game. You know, what did, what did Yahweh Shai? Who the world ignorantly calls Jesus? What did he say? He said, um, "the the servant isn't greater than the master." All right. So whatever they did to him, they're gonna do to you. And what did they do to our Lord? They mocked him. Some of them beat on him, spit on him. Guess what? Have we not? I'm. I know we got spit on before. Yeah. We got cigarette butts flicked in our faces. Are yeah. right, we been attacked? We had knives pulled out on us. We had guns pulled out on us. Some of the brothers, uh, the other brothers that teach uh, um, down um, further south, they got shot at by a, by a drive-by with paintball guns. I got shot at by a drive-by. Oh, paintball. you were there? Not, not oh, not here. here. Yeah. Right. Hey, so we out here hazarding our lives so y'all can receive salvation. That's right. So we can receive salvation. Trying to wake y'all up. Right? So you could have a chance at salvation. That's right. But y'all want to treat us like... Oh, these guys are crazy. And guess what? That's hey, okay. that's fine. Because at the end of the day, the biggest I told you so is about to be revealed. That's right. I got real quick. This is the book of Matthew 12 and 36. It says, but I say unto you that every idle word that man shall speak, they shall give account thereof in the day of judgment. Every idle word. Yeah, every idle word. So everything that you say and do, you know, primarily towards the men of the Lord, you know, you're going to be judged for. All them clever, stupid ass fucking comments. Every single one. Right. Yeah, how we're willing, we be the men of the Lord. You know, uh, there's a goofball on TikTok and there's a flunky saying that, oh, you're a mamzer. You're a bastard because uh, both of your parents aren't Negroes. The all the the only the all black Israelite only crew. Hey, you're going to have to make uh, you're going to have an account for those words in that in that day of judgment. Oh, oh I didn't really mean it like. Oh, oh, oh. No, you said what you said. The Lord going to make you pay. How did Brother Murph say? I'm gonna I'm gonna be quoting Murph all day today. Your mouth wrote a check that your ass can't cash. But guess what? You gonna have to pay up. <laughs> so how are you gonna pay up? By that judgment. Talk is cheap. Right. You know. Well, what was the scripture you wanted to pull out? Well, that was that Matthew 12 and 36. Uh, all right. Did you read it? Yeah, I read it. Yeah. All right. Uh, grab um. Yeah, this is uh. You got some? Yep. Go ahead. This is uh. Proverbs 19 21. This is uh, Sirach 27 and 1. All right, it says many. Oh, that's the Sirach. It's not what I want. Look at this dude got a whole profile. says Jesus is a lie. So you can get lost, bro. This is Sirach 27 and 11. <laughs> Yo, why are you on our channel, man? But this discourse of a godly man is always with wisdom, but a fool changes as the moon. And, what, and over the years, that's what you scoffers have done, man. We disproved you on this, then you switch up on this. We disproved that, you switch again. We cut that doctrine, then you change to another doctrine. Then you completely take your videos down and do some other Oh, yeah, shit. yeah, yeah. Right? A fool changes as the month. If thou be among the indiscreet, observe the time, but be continually among men of understanding. The discourse of fools is irksome, and their sport is the wantonness of sin. All right, so they're doing it for a fucking sport. And that shit is irksome. But the Lord is going to recompense all that shit. Yep, you got it. 
Hey, Shalom, Melody, you how about Shimmy Hashai Brakata? We got the other Malcolm on. So, like, I got, I got one more. Verse 15 The strife of the proud is blessing, and their remedy is death. Grievous to the ear. <laughs> so there you go, man. You niggas are grievous. All right, but once again, that's okay. That's okay, man. There have to be scoffers. Somebody got to be a scoffer. And there are no rewards promised to a scoffer, by the way. That there is. Oh, judgment. Salakis. Judgment. Salakis. Salakis. <laughs> there is a reward for you scoffers. Hey, keep on scoffing because you will get a reward. Get a, get a Revelations 22. Where it talks about uh, he coming with his uh, uh, with, uh, with a reward. This is the book of Proverbs 19 and 21. It says, there are many uh, devices in a man's heart. Nevertheless, the counsel of the Lord, you have by Shimei Shad that shall stand. Yeah, the counsel of the Lord is going to stand. Wait, that was that Proverbs? Yeah, Proverbs 19 and 21. Hold on, let me see. No, 19 and 29. Oh, 29. So long. Yeah. This is the book of Proverbs 19 and 29. It says, judgments are prepared for scorners and strikes for the back of the fool. There you go. That's your reward. Judgment is prepared for scorners. The backs of fools, you're going to get, you going to, hey, look. You want to get uh, reproved on this side by the men of the Lord through the through the scriptures? Or do you want to get reproved? I don't want, how about some shit like that? Or do you want to get reproved by the Heavenly Father and His Son when, uh, when He sends His Son? You know? I right. rather get corrected by men on this side, but you got you got certain goofy Israelites. I don't take orders by men. I don't take orders by men. I didn't know. Let's go down over here then. Um, grab that. I thought it was this one. We're just moved down over here. I get confused with them because it looks like the same thing. We're going to uh, relocate because uh, we didn't know that business was open. All right, but uh, we're going to get ready to go live on TikTok. We're just going to uh, read a couple of uh, these last scriptures right here. Let's, uh, let's close out with that Revelations. It's Revelations 22 and 8. Right, it said, by the fact, verse, this is Revelation 22 and 11. It said, he that is unjust, let him be unjust still. Yep. And he which is filthy, let him be filthy still. And he that is righteous, let him be righteous still. And he that is holy, let him be holy still. And behold, I come quickly. So, like so that means, basically, you're going to stand in your lot. Yep. The Lord set you up to be, uh, you know, um, a man of the Lord, you know, and be sincere. That's what you're going to be when you come back. All right, if you're a, a wicked ass Israelite, that's what you're gonna come back as. All right, go ahead. And behold, I come quickly, and my reward is with me to give every man according as his work shall be. Oh wait, but I thought uh, you don't have to have works in this truth. But guess what? You're gonna get judged according to your works. So if you're out here being wicked, talking shit, scoffing, guess what? Teaching false doctrines, all right? Being a mocker, being a being a uh, just just going after your own lust. Guess what? The Lord's gonna pay you back for that. You right. you reap what you sow. Yep. Just like that brother was that gym that's, uh, that that guy that was uh, messing with the brother for years. And then he recently got recently last week he got uh, the Lord got him by having somebody shoot him up in the parking lot. The yeah, you had a brother that uh he had a a, a personal scoffer making fake profiles. Texting, uh, messaging women on over the social media apps, saying us uh, uh, a very false witness, making making fake uh, accusations, and guess what? The Lord took them out. All right, hey, what the scriptures say? What um, when you uh, when you bear false witness, whatever the uh, the judgment is, that's what judgment you're going to receive. So the accusations that this man was making on one of the brothers was a, a accusation worthy to become unalive. And guess what? The Lord took him out. Yeah. Keep he on, been, keep been, on playing. He been scoffing about him for years. See, he thought he's, he thought he gonna be smooth, all smooth again. We, we gonna get that double cheeseburger, man. <laughs> he went to Arby's. He went to Ar Hardy's. Hardy's, Hardy's. Yeah, yeah. 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 No death angels got his ass. Man. He probably wa he probably ordered bacon on it too. Yeah. <laughs> you know. He was, he was preparing to make another scoff video. What was that? Uh, nope. Right. That's a line for you, man. But then he was supposed to be. You call yourself a prophet or a teacher going out there. 
Yeah. That's not that's not the fruits of the spirit. It doesn't say that if that's how we're gonna prevail by um, you know, scoffing or, or shit, even pretending to be a brother. That's that's really just weird. Yeah. <laughs> that's the reason why the Lord did what he did, man. You know, because here it is, this, the only thing we're supposed to be doing is is learning this truth and teaching it. Nothing different, man. You know? And if we suffer for a, a fault, you know, if we suffer wrongfully, the Lord's gonna get us through that. And if we suffer for your deeds, well then you're supposed to learn from, from that situation, man. You know? But hey, it says that a simple man will not be reproved. Yeah. Anybody got closing scriptures before we go on uh, YouTube? Uh, well, let me see. Uh, this is the book of Ecclesiastes 8 and 12. It says, Though a sinner do evil a hundred times, and his days be prolonged, yet surely I know that it shall be well with them that fear you have with which fear before him. Right, so you have about you, I'm sure I got your sinners numbers, you know, especially you men that come up against the men of the Lord. You know, the Lord got, you know, the Lord has prolonged you for a greater destruction. All right, well, I guess we're going to stay on TikTok. We're just going to upload the video on YouTube. Um, so we're just going to keep it moving. So what we were touching on, because uh, these brothers showed up, uh, we we're going into basically scoffers coming in the end days, you know? Um, we last left off on that Proverbs. Proverbs 19. Read that one more time. Just watch how you, uh, you talk. Yeah, yeah, TikTok. be cool on TikTok. You know TikTok's sensitive. Okay. Trick talk. Okay. They be read, tricking on. Uh, Revelation 22 and uh, 12 again. It says, Behold, I come quickly, and my reward is with me to give every man according as his work shall be. All right, and the scriptures say we're going to be saved by, even though ultimately it's through uh, the, the mercy and grace of the Lord, we're going to be saved through our faith and through our works. So you got to put some work in, too. All right, so this is not a thing of just watching all the videos, making a good comment, or maybe you got a good precept. You got to come out and put some work in. Right? You got to come out and put work in year round too. Right? And you, 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 uh, like we said before, you scoffers talking shit. You are gonna be rewarded for your, uh, so like you scoffers, you, you scoffers talking. You gonna be rewarded for your works. It's fine, right? But your works are, are as the workers of iniquity. Right? Doing a bunch of doing a bunch of BS. Right? What does it say? Them that know if they're going to be beaten with many strikes. You guys that clicked on enough videos, did all this scoffing. You watched through the video, right? And still, you know, uh, Satan jumped on you to say what you had to say. You're going to be rewarded for knowing that you're an Israelite too. Well, they hate us up on your house. Like that Proverbs. Just look at yeah. Proverbs 19 and 29. It says, Judgments are prepared for scorners and strikes for the back of fools. Yeah. See, that's why, uh, Chris Rock got slapped. <laughs> yeah, sure, man. Hey, get there whether you reap what you sow. All right, because he is Chris Rock. And I don't think that was staged, man. The way he, because his last performance, he threw the microphone down. He had that hurt face and shit. Yeah, but that's what he did, man. Because he's going to make, he's going to scoff the most sad. Talking about, oh, uh, yeah, how I'll make mistakes. Talking about Mississippi was mistaken. A porcupine was mistaken. Right. He's like, how you supposed to eat porcupine? Yo, First of all, you ain't supposed to eat that. Stupid, goofy. goofy. <laughs> right. Football. Supposed to eat a tiger. Tiger eats you. Right. Right. Get uh get problems thirteen real quick. Thirteen. Hey, that's why Will Smith walk up there and snap the shit out of his ass. Snap his ass, man. Stop the stuff. Stop the gets the most high, man. Shoot, I would have slapped him. Yeah, right. Then he uh 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 he up there joking with one comedian. He called a joke of the uh the N word, laugh about that. That the eating like the Dadumia said he hit uh N word and stuff. Man. All right, but that's an example, man. That's an example. This is more fatal. The brother just gave you a, a, a good example. More fatal than the brother been, been scoffed at that scoff for years, man. He yep. thought he was all good going get his double cheeseburger, and the Lord put the the uh, angels on him, man. Hey, uh, the one uh, dudes that were scoffing up at Yaki's camp, yeah. Those two, uh, the the brothers that uh, gave the. Uh, the testimony, them two uh, swole bodybuilder dudes. Yeah. And they all ended up whooping them up. Yeah, I remember that. <laughs> and then the one where the dude was scoffing and uh, he got unalive right in front of. Um, um, yeah, I remember that. Yo, you Michigan know, Avenue. the Lord judged, the Lord judged the scoffer instantly. Yeah. You know, so it's all on the, it's all on Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai's time. Yeah. It could be right then and there. Like Elijah, he make fire come down, jack right. their ass up right away. What's the other guy? Rap the news. Oh snap! Scrap the news got scrapped. Yeah, yeah. This is Galatians six and seven. Be not deceived. The Most High is not mocked. Right. For whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. Right. So Chris Rock reap what he sowed. Will Smith slapped the hell out of him, man. And rightfully so. He did. He need more than that, man. 
He lucky the Lord didn't put the spirit on the wheel to grab his neck and snap him, man. From the everybody, man. Yeah. Right, and that's that, that's just a sample, of Chris. Right, you got more judgment coming. And that's uh, um, you too, Will Smith. You ain't off the hook, right? right. And that's that's off of cardinal stuff. That's right. off of of uh, manly fleshly things, right? But now you got spiritual scoffs. Well, we're coming out with the word of God, right? And you guys want to co come against spiritual things. Come. Now there's gonna be a spiritual judgment for that, <laughs> which is is gonna be that ICBM missile fire. You got right. something to hide? Look at the proverbs. Uh, this is Proverbs 15 and 2. It says, The tongue of the wise uses knowledge or right, but the mouth of fools pours out foolishness. You know, whether it be like the carnal shit that the, the, the brother was just talking about, or uh, the things that you, you men say, and you lace it you lace it with this Bible and you call it sound doctrine, man. Yeah. All right? That shit is going to get your ass destroyed. The proof of that, like we said, all the different scoffers or uh, the men proclaiming themselves to be something that when they're not uh, throughout the course of the years, the Lord has been making their ass drop dead, man. You know, especially, what was it, probably like, what is it, uh, 2017 uh, to the 2020 era, you know, the Lord was just, just knocking motherfuckers off, man. Uh, uh, like, what was that? that, that one comedian that dressed up like a Hebrew Israelite, you know, uh, the, oh, oh, Ricky yeah. Harris. Yeah, Harris. motherfuckers yeah. from Everybody Hates Chris. Right. Hey, man, the Lord took his ass out. Yeah. Oh, Ricky you know? Harris. Are you, are you yeah. bumbling yeah. buffoon? Chris Rock, you always a bumbling buffoon, a crackhead. This is the uh, uh, six. Hey, you actually is poopy. Right, right. It said, but he <laughs> that sold to his flesh. That's how. That's how you got your own show and all them contracts, man. Being a damn shepherd job. It said, but he that sold to his flesh shall of the flesh reap corruption, but he that sold to the spirit shall of the spirit reap life everlasting. Yeah. Right? That's that's what's going on, man. We actually sowing. We're actually putting the seeds out there. We're actually casting those spiritual lines out. It was said, uh. That metaphor you have, which I got, but come after you. Yeah, right, because uh, if if somebody doesn't get it, it's of the Lord that they didn't get it, man. You know, what it, it says, for him, man. yeah, it even says yeah. that, um, uh, you know, when the good seed is sown, you know, when you'll see us come up, there's Satan in the midst. You know, shit, shit. Even if it's not nobody up here, I better Satan on the comment board, man. Talking oh, shit. Talking shit. <laughs> trying to flag out uh, videos and stuff. Most definitely on there. I got something right quick. We won't season this, man. We season it. If you don't get it, you, it just ain't it for you, man. Right. But guess what? It's a penalty, but you got to do <laughs> yeah. It's like Esau, man. Esau got a penalty, man. Yeah. Right. Yahweh Shai said, if I did not come, then there won't be a, a cloak for their sins. Yep. Really, on, really, on deeper level, you read the book of Judges. It was you saying, uh, you saying Jakes, that was kept worshiping oh. idols, and guess what? Hey, the Lord, the Lord told you that he going to bug you out your mind. And no eyes gonna be a thorn to your side. Yeah, and they're back today doing the same thing. Even yeah. worse. Yeah. All right, even worse. This is uh Proverbs 22 and 10. It says, Cast out the scorner, and contention shall go out. Yea, strife and reproach shall cease. Yeah. So it comes to a point in time where if a scoffer keeps on, you know, whatever, we just we're done with you, you know? Cause ain't no edification. Well, there there is edification that comes out of it, but once they can't receive it, cause ultimately somebody else will. Yeah. You know, hey, that's it. We ain't dealing with you. You know, you get cast out. Hey, we spiritual. Man. Hey, it's actually a law that we could grab you and give you forty strikes for being a scoffer, man. Yeah. That's in the law. We could grab you and give you forty strikes for being a scoffer, man. All right, but hey, we gonna leave it to you. How can we do what the Saints have? We get go and rest again. Yeah, yeah, yeah right. Stuff. Hey, we we've given a uh, goofy stuff. Uh, shoot, I, I think it'll probably be worse than forty stripes. <laughs> we put hands, feet on that ass. It says stripes. It says how? Oh, you're right. You're, save right. you're right. You're right. <laughs> yeah, save one. Tie a book. Yeah. All right, cause you got you. We had a, a plenty of people come up, blow like I like I've been saying, blow smoke in our face, right. spit right. on us. On last week, that, uh, that I think that that, that uh, two third woman called us. Uh, she said, "Yeah, y'all gay and stuff, man." All right, and bitch, you got well, your titties fine. out and it's cold. Yeah, but sure, y'all press out. You know, but um, <laughs> you know, but hey, look, don't think it's it's gonna be sweet up here just because you got Bibles and stuff. You know, we will defend ourselves. All right. Hey, the Lord might might stop your heart as soon as you come up this call. You just drop, drop, right, just drop, drop on the live. Yeah. I guess so. this is Psalms one forty one and five. Because right, ultimately, somebody who, 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 who's going to receive rebuke 
right? If you're going to receive it from the middle of the Lord, that's, there's nothing wrong with it. Right? It says, let the righteous smite me. It shall be a kindness. Because hell, we, we read the story of Paul when he was Saul. He actually uh, consented to some of the saints being put to death. Right? And the Lord changed his heart. So, you know, somebody could be changed over. Uh, but you're going you're gonna to have to receive rebuke and correction. It says, let the righteous smite me. It shall be a kindness. And let him reprove me. It shall be an excellent oil which shall not break my head, for yet my prayer also shall be in their calamities. Right, so there you go, man. Let the righteous smite you. Which we ain't putting hands and feet on you, but you're going to get cursed out for, 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 for doing all that. Right? Yeah. Because right, this ain't the dozens. This ain't we ain't on the block. You know what I'm saying? This is the word of the Lord. Thus saith the word of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah. Yeah. Amen. Uh, what's that? Three, four Passovers, though. Though, uh, though, uh, as these pull those pistols on us and stuff. All right, talking about we were some uh, Latin kings, we all just as dark as chocolate. Ain't no way we see a bunch of people so called black Latin kings, man. All right, and anyway, we could have we could have been carnal and came outside. It was like over a hundred of us and stuff. We could have stumped those dudes in the streets, man. Yeah, but guess what happened next week? They shot up some, uh, uh what happened? They shot up some Latin kings, two Latin kings. Yeah, they ran for the uh, the church when we had the pass over. They got hit by a car, man. Yep. All right. Hey, man, the Lord is, t is terrible, man. Yeah, I was terrible. Go ahead. This is Sirach 33 and 1. It says, There shall no evil happen unto him that feareth the Lord. Right. But in temptation, even again, he will deliver him. So right. if you're doing what you're supposed to be doing, right. the Lord's going to keep you out of home. Like that. Right. All right. You know, goofball, they marching back and forth, they pistols, all this stuff, man. All right. And I don't believe, I don't believe they, they thought we were game bangers. They thought we just easy to train, man. Something like that, man. Right. A bunch of lackeys like go to a church, man. Look, the judges like the fuck with people. Man. Yeah. That's what I believe. They mess with us, man. And guess what? They pay the penalty for us, man. We ain't had to lift up a man. Right. right. The scriptures say, uh, um, where's that in Exodus? It says, you should hold your peace and the Lord shall fight for you. Right. You know, we ain't got to... We, all we got to do is push this word out. The Lord going to take care of everything else. A bunch of goofballs, man. And then they make a call since who the fuck going to come late at night on Saturday night and shit, 12 on 1 o'clock? On some dumb shit like that, man. Because you want to be on bullshit for them. Right. Ain't nobody going to get out the bed. You get some skins so they give you a call. Some dumb shit. <laughs> hey, man, get these dudes to the church, man. What are they? Oh, they in the church. Yeah. Get uh, out of here, man. That's why they got why Lord serve them, man. All right? Go ahead. Yeah. Two thirds, you know, the Lord, you know, is judging a lot of you that come against the man of the Lord. They reminded me of this account. This is the book of Second Kings 2 and 23. It says that he went up from uh thence unto Bethel, and as he was going up by the way, there came forth little children out of the city and mocked him and said unto him, Go up, thou bald head, go up, thou bald head. It said he turned back and looked on them and cursed them in the name of the Lord. And there came forth two she bears out of the wood and tear forty and two children of them. Whoa. Whoa. Yeah, little children? They were and that, those children. were actual little children oh. when you go into that Hebrew word. What I mean, about they, the kids? Shit. If the Lord does <laughs> hey, if, you, if your ass is off, you're off, man. It's yeah. even certain instances where um if you had a rebellious son, they got put to death, man. Yeah. You know? But yeah. even going into that, they, they, those uh, same children are back today. And they could be children right now, they could be grown as adults. You know, the simple fact is that they're they're back for their judgment too, man. Psalm 68 and 20, it says, He that is our power is the power of salvation, and unto the Most High the Lord belong the issues from death. But the Most High shall wound the head of his enemies, and the hairy scalp of such as one that as goeth on still in his trespasses. There you go, man. So our Lord is, is uh, to the, our Lord belong the issues of death. Right? You think you're getting away? You thought everything was sweet? He said, right, the king of terrors. Yeah. Right. He might not, hey, an instant death, that's a, that's really a mercy. Right. The Lord can jack you up, have you walk around, you can't feel from your waist down. You can't deal with your woman no more. Seattle right. snake. Yeah, you, right. you got a shit up your sleeve. You got a colostomy bag on your side. Right. Uh, Ask the Seattle snake. <laughs> Second Ezra chapter 8, verse 55. And therefore ask no more questions concerning the multitude, multitude of them that perish. For when they had taken liberty, they despised the most high. Thought scorn of his law, forsook his ways. All right. 
okay? And that's your, that's your, that's your two tires, man. Yeah, man, man, there ain't no airs and lights. Putting us scoffing and all this stuff, man. Making uh, uh, false accusations and everything. Yup. I got something out, alright? Alright. Uh, this is uh, Surat 27 and 28. Mockery and reproach are from the proud. But vengeance as a lion shall lie in wait for them. Hey, well, your house, I said, John, eight point four. you are your father, devil. Talking you uh, uh, two-thirds, man. You proud just like a man. Hey, you, hey, let's, yeah. let, let a two-thirds start a fight with you. You you, you finish them good and stuff. You know what you're going to do? You're going to be just like his dad. You're going to get that prag going to still be in. You're going to go in and go get a, 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 a gun. You know, yeah, this man. Or lie, or lie and say, hey, they, they tend to jump me. They, they down home. Yeah, you know, it's just the same the same thing occurs when somebody gets uh, cut in the scriptures. Yeah. Then they want to get caught on, man. Right. You know? they, like, like you said, uh, when Stefan was talking, you know, they gnash upon him with, the, with their teeth because they said they were pricked to the heart. Right. Or you go into another scripture where it says that they were pricked to the heart, and then they, they, they was like, well, what should we do? Because that, they, that was a set of men that was humble when they got cut, man. Yeah. Right, the scriptures, uh, what's that? Uh, in uh, Hebrews 12, or Hebrews 4, it says uh, the, the word is sharper than a two-edged sword. You know, so this word is it, for reproof, rebuke, correction, exhortation, in doctrine. So this word, it, it, go, it knows everything about you. And when it goes against uh, your lusts and feelings and your right. thoughts, you get cut. Hey, what it um... Uh what that a, a, a girl in uh, Odell Levant is a woman, she said the problem, she said the problem of, uh, the problem over there in the, in the Levant area is young black men. They should see talking about their Israelites, the Hebrew Israelites. Huh. Right? The Amalekite Amla lady said that we Israelites are the problem. She said young, the problem is young black men. She talking to us. Well, who else young and out here teach on the highways and byways? You're damn right we're a problem to you. But right. we're the solution for the nation of our people. Right. Because we're trying to get our people right. Only yeah. an evil person would be against that, man. Because this is you know, right. this is really a message of peace. But right. Like, <laughs> it, it shouldn't, it's not even affecting you. You know? Right. <laughs> not the, well, it, it, it is, but not us actually physically trying to go down and take right. down this place or commit yeah. genocide. Yeah. Like they're trying to push, like, we're on that goal. And here they, they got this big old military, all this shit, Mossad, all that stuff like that. We teach the word. They like, hey, they got some problems. Proverbs 6 and 16. These six things that the Lord hate, yea, seven are an abomination unto him. A proud look, a lying tongue, and hands that shed innocent blood. Yep. A yep. false witness. It sounds it sound like the MO for you yes. gangbangers, man. Hey, hey, sister, uh, that time Sister Sherry came down here. She talking about, yeah, they break this, they break, they break little girls and stuff. Hey, y'all, here they go right here. Just they look like so Oh, you mean, uh, you mean Vocab's hyena? Yeah, yeah. pet hyena. Yeah, she tried to get us uh, jumped on by the dudes in the hood, man. Yeah, they here right here. They here right here. Right. A proud look, right. a lying right. tongue, right. and right. hands that shed innocent blood. A heart that devises wicked imaginations, feet that be swift in running to mischief. Yeah. A false witness <laughs> that she <laughs> <lies>. <laughs> you see this? <laughs> right when you say that, you see two Jakes running across the street. <laughs> they about to run to mischief right now. They're like, we gotta catch this bus so we can go off. Come on, man. My mom fixed me some shit. Yep, it's a heart that divides with wicked imagination. Hey, that, that's, that's that was the spirit. Hey, that's you, son, man. You are at this uh, class of wicked imaginations against us in the truth. Yeah. All right. Hey, yeah, he, he did to me. He did. He try to twist the scriptures to fit you and stuff. Hey, right. you ain't, hey, son, there, you ain't, hey, years ago, you won't have nothing. Hey, your shoulder, 95% of your shoulder is about Hebrew Israelites in the Bible. Oh, he ain't getting no views if he ain't talking about Hebrew Israelites. Right. You'll right. starve, man. Ain't nobody doing that Egyptology chemist stuff. Right. right. All right, your ass ain't even doing it. Right, right. Yeah. You know? <laughs> but, hey, the scriptures say there's nothing you could do against the truth before it. That's true. So, uh, as a matter of fact, Look at we're gonna uh we're gonna say thank you to all the scoffers and scorners, thank all right? You Sardetta, thank uh, you, Vocab, Singing Bear, him, who else? Edward Gonzalez. All right, uh, we're naming them all. There's a lot of you. There's a lot of you, a lot of you up here. Of you. Hey, we would like to thank you because you're actually helping forward this truth. Right. 
right. by talking smack because there's nothing you could do against it before it. You're putting us more out there to a broader audience. Oh, all they say thank you to Wise Turtle Six Nine. Right. Yeah. Yep. You keep. You keep yeah. No, no, <laughs> hey. He, he, Hey, you keep. Hey, you keep calling me Jamal. Jamal means handsome. I said, I told you, man, stop saying that. Jamal. All right. So, hey, some wrong with you. You keep calling man handsome, man. Hey, <laughs> hey, well, right. hey that's, it says, blessed are you when men show sure revile and uh, speak evil of you. Uh-huh. So did their, their their fathers, man. You know. Right. Yeah, it's, right. It's a good thing we all don't like us, man. You know, not that we're just trying to. We, we're doing something evil to not be like. It's the same fact we're bringing out the truth. Right. Yep. Real quick, I got another point too. In the book of Acts. The, uh, I believe it's the fifth chapter. Gamaliel said, "Look, leave these men alone, because if it's of God, there's nothing we could do. But if it's not, it'll come to not. And guess what? We still out here through the power of spirit of Yahweh Shimei Ashai from the apostles on down, pushing His word, because this is not of men. This is of the heavenly Father and His Son. Yeah. All right. That's why that uh, Amalekite lady, she was like the young black men a problem. That was a cold word for the Israelites." Right. Black. Yeah, but hey, good. So, hey, the uh, uh, so-called blacks are not the only here. Like, you got so-called Latinos, so-called Native Americans. Man. Right, but you got the right. Mamzer breakdown. Those the the Mamzer Israelites. Oh, the Mamzer. Both man. both your parents got to be a uh, Negro. The, uh, I had this one goofball saying uh, that he's like, "Do you look like this?" And he put up a picture of a whole bunch of Negroes. Like, he's like, "Is your skin?" He told you that. Yeah, he's like, "Is your skin black?" I'm like, "Guess what? Ham is black. So-called right. black." Right. Uh, uh, freaking Elam is dark skin. Right. It's, see, you got Israelites that are not spiritual. Go ahead. You can pass. You can pass for a so-called Negro, man. I'll have told him, yeah, I'm good. <laughs> Just the mess with him, man. <laughs> All right. Well, hey, go ahead. Proverbs six and nineteen. False witness. That speak. Wait a minute, man. We didn't, we didn't disprove that a million times. Tariq Machine just came out with a movie about the, the Seminoles trying to say they was all black, which we already know that's not true. Then he came out, which we already said this, right. that, that Columbus had Hebrew, had interpreters speaking to the Native Americans, but he didn't know what language they were speaking, right. which we already broke that down. The Las Luna Stone right. in New Mexico. Stones and stuff. We so, already broke that down. So you're telling me Gad knew Hebrew but they weren't Israelites. Right. right. They doing the, they just they made get, it they up. They get circumcised. They circumcise their children. Oh, oh, the the U the UT tribe. They uh they observe the feast of tabernacles. But they knocked the Israelites. Right. So just that, you know. Right. This would be Hebraic. Right. This would be Hebraic. Right. <laughs> and then the other one I wanna add, you know, and, uh, if you read the book of Ezra, it tells you, you know, the uh the ten tribes were gonna build. Know, to the side of the world. They ain't talking about that. They ain't talking about that. They ain't talking about that. Hey, the Cherokee, the Cherokee got a law. When I'm part Cherokee, they don't like that. They don't like how <laughs> I say that. Yeah, I'm part Cherokee. All right? So Cherokee got a law where they have to leave. You know, the Bible, you know, you could grab all the grapes and stuff. Or produce from your leaves. You got to uh, leave some. They, they got that in there. Uh, green. Off. Yeah. All right? Ooh, they don't like that. Ooh. Yep. Nobody care what you mean. Right, Proverbs right. 6 and 19. I am who I am. That's right. A false witness that speaketh lies, <laughs> and he that soweth discord among brethren. Because that's what y'all trying to do. Stir up strife. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah you not an Israelite. Oh, yeah, they try, to put, they try to bring California politics to Chicago. Man, the Puerto Ricans and blacks, man. I'm like, no, I'll be, I'll be going to come. Hey, mind you, right. you had the, and out of nowhere, this was like two years ago or so, right. you had the, Hispanic only Israelites. Oh, that shit. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Most yeah. I destroyed him. Destroyed that, his ancient watchman. He was, yeah. What's that guy's name? Like, I don't Shabar know. Or something like that. That was. And that guy bugged out his mind now. Hey, Jose Vega left him, man. They <laughs> broke up. Like all this false doctrine, man. Right, right. He, he, he talking about uh, the, the tribe. He called uh, so called New York tribe of Judah. Um, uh, ham ice, I gotta say it like that because they'll pull it if I say the same well, if you yeah. say it like that, well, the, the Egyptians were ham, man. Right. right. So, if, if you want to spin it that way, hey, the most, Israelites are still with. Hey, Jack is dumb as hell. Hey, most time, bug the hell that guy out, man. He got, he gave what a thing around his head, don't he? Uh, they told the most time, showed him a dream that fruits. Fruits was, he said fruits was, uh, he said fruits were large, it was glowing. I said, no, nah, man. I said, what you having to you do? You have a meatball sandwich and a glass of wine before you, before you went to bed. Before that, you were looking at Dragon Ball Z, the tree of might, man. <laughs> man he was watching the tree of might. Right, you no, know, the tree of might in that dream, man. Turtles <laughs> looking ass. Right, man. Hey, that guy bugged out, man. 
he more bugged out. His everybody, he got low, low, low views on the videos and stuff, man. And everything. Okay, he won't go last long, man. He might have been an Asian too, man. Cause I ain't, go ahead, up. Yeah, those are those false doctrines. Right. Like the Lord really gonna let I a bunch up. of heathens yeah, declare the word of the Lord right. and pass over. We just gonna stand next to a bunch of heathens and not say nothing. Right. They're all oh, come on. Man. Doing the aber uh aberrant indigenous one on YouTube, man. Hey, that, that sister got on there two years ago, she talking about her uh her Cherokee grandmother and how she spoke Pedo Hebrew and stuff. He's like, Oh, we gotta go, we gotta go, cut off, we gotta go. He the main ones to come up against the truth all the time, man. Alright, but she cut you said when she act she said I forgot the Hebrew words, but uh she said it she said the Pedo Hebrew words, it was near Pedo Hebrew a little bit, but hey, you got cut. You cut the show off, man. Why you keep the why you keep the shit kept the show on, man? Like, oh, all, uh, all you scoffers get. Hey, we'll start putting you to rest, man. My signal. All right, go ahead. This is the book of Second Ezra six, and I'm gonna start at verse twenty seven. It says, "For evil shall be put out, and deceit shall be quenched." Verse twenty eight. It says, "As for faith, it shall flourish. Corruption shall be overcome, and the truth, which hath been so long without fruit, shall be declared." Right, and this truth is being declared throughout the four corners of the world. Right. You know, starting with our elders and our apostles on down. You know, this truth is being declared and evil is being put out. You know, the lies, the deceit. Right. You know, what the so-called white man push these different philosophies. Yeah, our own people push. You know. Yeah. As the brother, you know, mentioned this, you can't do. You, uh, you can do nothing to, uh, against the truth or for the truth. Right. <clears throat> One of the biggest lies that uh, you know uh, Esau and his nations push, all right, is universalism, and everybody can be saved, and they they, they want to discount the fact that this whole Bible and this whole truth is talking about a seed line. Right. It's talking about a group of people. Right. right. Severe, okay. Hey, you hear that, Severe Bay? Hey, yeah. y'all uh, know what I'm talking about Severe Bay. They got uh, he talk about us. He's supposed to say with 12 tribes. Huh, it's 81 tribes in Ethiopia. The, 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 uh, the, you got the Ethiopian Bible. Hey, man, you go to the Ethiopian Bible, that Bible going to say salvation uh -huh. is for all through that Bible. Don't forget that Ethiopian Bible. It, the the Ethiopian Bible is a, it's the King James, but it got a couple of more it books in it. More verses in it. Which, it's our book, which we don't even need it, anyways. Yeah, you go inside it, man. It's going to say salvation with Israel. And matter of fact, it's going to say uh, the Ethiopians. Don't say the C word. It's going to say the Ethiopians going to go into captivity, man. Hey, right. and uh, and uh, what's his name? Uh, uh, uh I forgot who it was. Yeah, C U S H. All right, uh, this book, yeah, yeah, uh, what's his name? Um, I think it was you, Lahab, where the one dude came up and he said the Ethiopian Bible. I'm like, do you have an Ethiopian Bible? Yeah. No, I don't. <laughs> man, boy, get your goofball ass. Hey, man, I got a precept for that. Yeah, go ahead. This is uh, Isaiah 41 and 8, and this is what we're talking about. It says, uh, but thou, Israel, art my servant, Jacob, whom I have chosen, the seed of Abraham, my friend. Right. Okay? The seed of Abraham are the servants of the Lord. Okay? When you go into uh, Revelations 1 and 1, it talks about, um, let, me, let me get it. Revelation 1 and 1, it says, the revelation of Yahweh Shai Hamashiach, which the Most High gave unto him right. to show unto his servants. Perfect. It ain't for everybody. Right. It ain't for everybody. It ain't for His servants. Right. right. Things which thou shortly uh, must, which must shortly come to pass. Ooh. And he sent and signified it by his angel unto his servant John. Get this right the servants of the Lord is Israelites. Okay, okay, cut the heart out of the whole Ethiopian. Uh, it said Isaiah 45, 14. Thus said Yahweh, the labor of Egypt and mercy of Ethiopia and of the saviors, men of stature, they some tall men, uh, shall come over to thee, they shall be thy possessors. Alright, so y'all know what that means. They shall come after thee in chains, and they shall come over, and they shall fall down unto thee, and they shall make supplication unto thee, saying, Surely the most high is in thee, and there is none else. There is no no power. Alright? I got a question. Alright, go, go ahead. So like real quick, so back to back him up for the spirit right. switch up, because you said right. to his servants, right? right. right. What you got? I got, I got right. Okay, then this is going back. <laughs> this is going. This is going back this up. This is going back this up. Ready? Look, Leviticus twenty five and fifty five. That's what you. <laughs> <laughs> what? All right, go ahead. You got it. You got it. Shit. Go ahead. Yeah, this is Leviticus twenty five verse fifty five. 
And it says, For unto me the children of Israel are servants. They are my servants whom I brought forth out of the land of Egypt. That's Perfect. I am the Lord your how is your God. Why? Right. Your God. Yeah, we're the only only right. people on not, the face of the earth with a real not the God of Edom, yep. not the God of uh Ethiopia, not the God of Japheth. Alright. Another you only God of Israel. Not the God of Ishmael. This is Zephaniah 2 and 11. The Lord will be terrible <laughs> unto them, for he will famish all the gods of the earth, and men shall worship him, everyone from his place, even all the isles of the heathen, the Ethiopians also, ye shall be slain by my sword. Ooh. And when you the Ethiopians, they intuit with the uh, Eritreans because they know the Eritreans are Israelites. And they, they're, they're completely Some different. Them. Right. Many of the Eritreans are Israelites. From a completely different tribe, like uh, Tiffany Haddish, Nipsey Yeah, Tiffany Hussle. Haddish. Yeah, you got ears like Mitch, the uh, Mono the Reaches, man. Right, and Nipsey Hussle, he was a Reacher. He fit right in. Nipsey got nipped. Well, he, he got, got nipped. He's yeah. wicked, but that's, that's why they're into it, because yeah. they know that those are completely different people. So y'all going to receive the sword, too. Yeah, they be talking, uh, I'll be online, they be talking uh, shit about the Reaches, man. There's a lot but of those got, Yeah, you got, you got Jake from London, man. Which more than likely he was a Jake. Yeah, know. yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 he found a curse. He's got He's a crib. He's a crib. Got rapper. Yeah, unfortunately, he got, got uh, you know, on the lab in the hood and stuff. That was his judgment. Yeah. He was doing too much, man. He saw that. I think he was set up. He was, he he was, was going to come like, out with the Dr. Sebi uh, doc, uh, right. documentary. He was, uh, he and was that's making, when they, they nipped him. He was making a uh, unity with the with the, with the the Bloods and Crips, man. He saw them like that, man. He saw them like anything. He saw, he saw them like things in order and peace, man. He said, hey, you got to go, man. He's doing too much, man. That messes up his money. Because yep. then he can't lock Jake up and get free labor out of him. Free labor. Uh, he can't all uh, life insurance. Uh, he can't make off the uh, the organ, the uh, black market, the organ. Yup, the organs. Yup, funeral homes and stuff. Yeah, pretending yep. that we are nothing and, and, and that we are the scum of the earth is is very lucrative for Esau. Man. Oh, Mel he can go in on it. Oh, Mel, um, Mel, he make money off the melon. Yeah, taking yep. melon, melon and stuff. Yeah, Jake. That's, yeah, that's why they escaped the, 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 the tribal wars between Iskar, so called Vasquez, and uh, uh, Judah, so called Negroes in California, man. Because Esau benefit off of it. He can get it from the, from the underlap bikes, man. He get that melatonin, man. That's my word to go. Yep, melon. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You can't, no man can serve two masters. You can't crip and then teach about some damn exactly. old right. health. And, oh, <laughs> right. I'm gonna teach you how to game bang healthy. Right. Right. Hey, but that, that's Stay actually healthy, that, that's right. that bullshit to be on with Jake. And bitches be looking for this Damn. this type of nigga. He's a game banger, but he's really he's woke. Like, I'm a vegan killer, right? Yeah. Hey, they, 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 yeah, they they want that type of guy. He's, he has street knowledge, but at the same time, he's quick to pull the pistol. Right? right. They, 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 they like Snoop, they, like Snoop they, Dogg. They, they like Snoop Dogg. They like Snoop Dogg. What's that show come on start? Snoop Dogg's in church. He pull that gold pistol out. I oh, said, leave, uh, leave. Dog came like, get that's out of here, man. That's folly. That's carnal, man. Yeah, we don't got to do none of that stuff, man. We sit back, sit back. Hey, pray, throw the curses up. Yeah, yeah, how we going to do this? Work. That's right. Yeah. Go ahead. Yeah. This is, uh, I had this one. That, uh, this is the book of, uh, you know, going to. Speak like, up, brother. Huh. Going back to what Esau Edom, you know, uh, constantly do to our people, you know, put the so called Instagram, uh, the so called Mexicans against the so called African Americans. This is the book of Psalms 83 and uh, 1. It says, Keep not thou silence, O power. Hold not thy peace, and be not still, O power. It says, For lo, thy enemies make a tumult, and they that hate thee have lifted up the head. Right, and I, I, every, every one of these nations hate us. You know, Esau, Edom, all the way down to Moab, Ammon, you know, Ishmael. You know, they oppress us in our so called own neighborhood. You know, Jake don't own nothing, anyways. So. No. Hey, hey man, you brought us in El Salvador, man. You better get out that corner and put some work out there, man. That's right, you can. Hey, could dude coming down hard, man. He locking up all those gang bangers and stuff, man. That's just martial law right now. Yep. Yep. Destroying their graves and stuff, man. Yep. All right, go ahead. And these are, uh, you know, our elders and apostles are always teaching, you know, they push, you know, crack cocaine in Jake neighborhoods. Yeah. You know, even during the times of riots, you know, what Esau Edom would do, they had put like a stack of bricks, yeah. you know, to, you know, uh, entice Jake to throw stuff. Yeah. You know, different things of that nature. You know, he basically, uh, you know, picks with the poor of our people. And don't think Esau you know? was behind no games in El Salvador. Don't think he had no hand in it. He had a hand in it. He always did. Yeah. Yeah. 
he got a hand and now he now he got all useful and he's taking them down. It's just like well that's the reason why those those games be into the into the drug game because Esau's pushing that man. Yeah. You know? Because for, for one, usually the what, what are the game backers? They're poor, they need money. Yeah. And, and Esau brings about this this whole little way to make them have them uh make more money off their their their, their uh whatever yeah. they got going on in their in their countries or even over here, man. Yeah. And I believe it was uh it was this like this uh Amalekite uh that was on um the Charlemagne show or whatnot. He was basically talking about you know why don't child people listen to the music you know that they uh to give to Jake. He said I don't want my kids listening to that type of you know uh things of that nature. Yeah, I gotta make the money. Yeah, I gotta make the money. You gotta make the money. Sure. But they are, you know they're easily pushing on Jake. Right. You know. Right. To live that lifestyle. That's what he saw. Even, uh, you know, the South playing white man's life. Because it's a way that they money without getting their hands dirty or losing any cash. But right. now they, they're starting to experience all that because the, the Lord, man, he's not a uh, author of confusion. You put that shit out, it's gonna come right back to you. So it's it's, it's ironic, you know, that he would be pushing uh, uh, drugs to the community, and then they come back on him, or even like that, you know, you push that 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 mode. Uh, lifestyle on our people, and now you got your fucking daughters walking around with ball ass heads and shit, man. Yeah, I'm gonna talk to you. Yeah, yeah. You guys say it's fit. Go ahead. It's not saying it's fit, but it's like, yes, it was. Yeah, just one verse. Uh, uh, shit, I was sick. I was just going to go. Oh, just not sick. Because it's not saying it's fit. And four says, none called for justice or any pleading for truth. Hey, hold it. He said, none called for justice or any pleading for truth. Hey, I gotta make money. Hey, General Drew, your honor. Yeah, All right, uh, IU, uh, uh, Nate, Nate Seven, IUIC. Man. All right, WF, WF Five. We called uh, what is that? Uh, watch, watch, watch me before I do you. <laughs> uh, we call them warlocks before I do you, man. Wi-Fi. Yeah, hey, Wi-Fi. Hey. <laughs> that which is crushed, break it down into a viper. Their webs shall not become garments, neither shall they cover themselves with their works. The works are works of iniquity and the act of violence is in their hands. And it's like when you go back to the ancient world, man, when um when uh bullshit was going on, what was all, what was also going on? Idolatry, you know? Yep. So you'll have like uh churchgoers or, or um, your, your mosque believers, you know, that that would bring uh that that that, that idealism of Islam or uh yep. so grape juice drinking Christianity and they're probably not so bad. They ain't going out there fucking robbing and smoking people, but the grandkids are. All right, yep. the communities are. Yeah. Everywhere you go in hey, the hood, there's a fucking church on every block, and it's the worst block. Where those celebrity singers come from? Musicians. They come church, church, church. 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 Hey, Michael Jackson was a, uh, what was that, Jehovah's Witness? Yeah, Kurt. All right. I think that's it. That, what's that one uh, singer? I don't know if her name is SZA. It's one of them bitches. She's actually, um, it's like one of them. One of them people. Female dog. One of them beats female. <laughs> <laughs> she, uh, she's a singer, and uh, she's supposed oh, to be a Muslim. Susan. She had made a song about uh, sharing a man, and, and basically it's like, yeah, this, this is our, our like, because you know, and they believe they they believe that they can share a, a husband. So she, she was like, she'll have him on the weekend, and yeah, you know the song. That, that's the song, yeah, yeah. Running around the block. I, I, don't I know, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. It it says says their, their feet this, run, the their feet run, run to evil, and they make haste to shed innocent blood. Their thoughts so are thoughts yeah, of yeah, iniquity, yeah. wasting and it's destruction like the in their past. The way of peace they know not. And there is no judgment in their goings. They have made them crooked paths. Whosoever goeth therein shall not know peace. And that's true when you look at you, Skull, all you gang straight. dudes and all you uh, 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 you inmates who are there by choice. All right, booty I ain't gay. That's just prison. Nah, right. nigga. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't trying to yeah, that's all. Show the ladder. Go ahead. Hey, be cool off the G word you on TikTok. You 40, you just came home, living with your mama, trying to start a podcast on YouTube. It's got OG this and that. 
Yeah, man. All, all you cats who still talking about gangbanging. Right. You haven't, hey, haven't, right. haven't, haven't been rehabilitated. Yeah, all right. <laughs> Grown as hell. Yeah. Grown as hell. Right. Yeah. Let me tell you stories from the cell, man. Right. <laughs> Tales sales, from the sales. Sales saga. Sales, 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 sales. Talking about what you I was like 17. 16 years old. Withered away in prison. It was right. August. A hot night playing? in August, man. We did a drive back. I used to right. go in these streets. This is how we used to do it back in the day. Let me put you on. Right. Therefore, it's judgment. <laughs> judgment. Therefore, it's judgment far from us. And you gotta get rid of the dude like that, man. Look, it's, it's, it's the, the hood is full of you cats, man. That's a good company. It's that black culture, man. Black. It's black. Black. Therefore, it's <laughs> judgment Murphy said, black. far from us. Shalom, you know what I'm saying? Black. The kids at the park trying to play yeah, ball, whatever. Y'all up there sitting on the porch, doing all this extra. Right. right. People, man, they did you all in the harass field on this stuff. Yeah. This Negro is just hanging over. Yeah. It said, therefore, it's judgment far from us. Neither does justice overtake us. Mm-hmm. We wait for light, like, but oh, behold yeah. obscurity. For yeah. yeah. brightness, but we walk in darkness. When I get on. We grope for the wall like the blind, and we grope as if we had no eyes. We stumble at noonday yeah. as in the night. Go we are in desolate night. places as dead men. Just sit on the wall, you know. All right? Hey, hey, oh, hey, some of you tell, cats bro. literally died for, for that stuff, right? Yeah. The scriptures say the grave is never full. Hey, they'll, they'll die for those games, but they won't die for the most time. Exactly. Right. Nigga went to jail for fucking 10 years. Uh, what's his name? Finesse two, two times. Two times yeah. oh. One of his guys went to jail for 10 years. He gave him a little money. Hey, well, nigga, I wasted 10 years of my life. Right. Unless you don't give me a hundred thousand for each fucking year, <laughs> that, that 10,000 uh, 10, ain't shit. Right. Right. <laughs> Bro, like, you, you, you spent 10, ten, ten years in jail over what? Over doing some wicked bullshit, man. Right. Yeah. Or you took the charge for this nigga right. that later down the road, he ain't gonna give a fuck about you. Fighting on property that right? yours. <laughs> Take right. the real charge is taking the charge for your how about you, man? I'm shot. Uh, like, right, that's right. And when you go into the uh, the apostles and how they how they perished, some of them ways was fucked up, but they died for your how about you, man? I'm shot, man. That's right. All right? Hey, John the Baptist, he took the charge. He <laughs> he cut hair out of his ass and said, you sleeping with your, your your brother's wife. And then that bitch had a vengeful spirit on her said, bring me his head. Wicked he his died head. for the truth. That's right. And that, oh, shit. <laughs> go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. You all good. Just for reason. Just keep, keep that fire, man. <laughs> 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 just to add to the brother, like you said, man. Try to be you gotta, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta <laughs> Sometimes you gotta suffer wrong for Hey, mm-hmm. hey, with well, YSL, hey, Young Thug had a lawyer. All these guys had a uh, public defender, man. He didn't care about them. Bogus. Right. They all had public defender. And they defense. flipped. Most they of them flipped on them. They flipped. Yeah, that's why one of the guys that uh, gave him a drug in the courtroom that was set right. up. Right. <laughs> It was Moses. <laughs> 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 you got a million dollars. You done made it out the hood, rapping or whatever. You never even did the stuff. You rapped now, about. You gonna go and back and do the stuff again? Then you are right. He uh, <laughs> the shit he dreamed about doing. He ended up start doing. Now, now you now you gotta suffer for the shit. Hey, start life, the life story. imitates art. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That demon from his music hopped on him. Yeah. <laughs> Same thing with um, John Morant, man. Yeah. Oh, that's old, man. You, you, you make Wait, millions of dollars you start crib, man. playing basketball. Yeah, but, right. but see, that's that black culture mentality, man. Yeah. Right? Because most of the bitches in their 20s, they want a nigga like that. A nigga yeah. that's in the street. Then they get 30s. Oh, well, I want the nigga with the bag. The nigga in the street ain't going to get the bag. At all. Well, he gonna, all. Get a he gonna get a bag. He gonna get a body bag. Right. <laughs> and a toe tag. Right, a toe, toe tag. tag with right. <laughs> hey, yeah, they've been through all these damn dicks. Look, I'm, that's why this society needs to be destroyed, man. The right. so average what, chick has hey, over grab 20 that bodies. Peter, man. <laughs> these people quit to riot. Um, matter of fact, First it's, it says they count it a strange thing that we don't run with them. Yeah, you we know? in Chicago. Yeah, it's the Chicago, uh, Chicago Great Middle School Camp. Uh, it, it, it is. Right. All right, go ahead. Uh, First Peter chapter 4, verse... Uh, uh, so, I'm going to shit. I'm going to start verse 1. It says, for as much men... Man, some soft-finger glasses, I don't know. For as much, 
For as much then as Hamashiach have suffered for us in the flesh, arm yourselves likewise with the same mind. It's like the brother said. It's not, hey, you, you're not a real man, you know, or a real nigga, as, they, as these guys say, if you take a charge for a nigga, for a wicked person, man. What does that make you? It says, uh, 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 if you do that, then you get to yourself a block, man. All right? Hey, no, uh, take... And hey, wicked person banging your wife while you sitting here in prison. Exactly. Right. You didn't went to jail for this nigga, and he didn't... Fucking fuck your girl, he, man. He, and your kids calling him hey, dad. Hey, man, fact, shit. um... Uncle Daddy. What's that nigga Daddy. name? Uh, he was real flashy in the 70s. Uh, uh, Frank Lucas? Not Frank Lucas, his rival. Oh, damn. Oh, uh, Nicky Barnes. Nicky Barnes, Nicky Barnes. Nicky Barnes. right. Yeah. He's, uh... So uh, he went to jail, and one of his left, uh, his right-handed men started fucking his wife. Yep. So he snitched on all of them. <laughs> Whoa, he fucked on all of them. Yep. yep. All right, ain't, ain't no honor amongst thieves, man. Yep. It says, for he that hath suffered in the flesh hath ceased from sin. So, hey, man, that, we're going to suffer with the Lord, man, because he's ceasing from the ways of death. There, that, that he no longer should live the rest of his time in the flesh to the lust of men and to the will of the Most High. For the time past of our life may suffice us to have wrought the will of the Gentiles. When we walked in lasciviousness, lust, excess of wine, revelings, Banquetings. Let's and, turn up. Yep. Niggas always in that turn up spirit, man. Right. Party ass. Uh, I'm turned. Let's go get activated type spirit, man. All right. Go ahead. All right. Run the mystery. It says an abominable idolatries, wherein they think it's strange that you are not with them to the same excess of riot. Right. Oh, y'all go. You going to the club tonight? You doing? Uh, you doing? Oh, damn. You a lame. You no, nigga. I just. I don't want to be around that nigga shit because some shit is bound to happen. Some, man. Somebody's gonna get yeah. shot. It's gonna be some smoking. Somebody's gonna There's fight. There's something wrong yeah. with you because you moving wisely, and they yeah. and, and since you ain't moving with them, uh, uh, they it's find strange. it strange. Strange. Mm -hmm. You'll eat pork. You'll do this like that. Fuck Just the like Target uh, told. <laughs> yeah. uh, what was it? Um, one of those uh, um, simple pride. Um, Things right, I had to say simple pride, right? Oh, really? you know, what I mean. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and I like, a couple of thousand people caught on fire that year. Oh, yeah, so imagine if you just because a lot of these heterosexuals they be going to stuff they like do. that. Well, let me just let me go see, they you get caught up in that, shit. yeah, yeah, because hey, you got a lot of uh, straight jakes to go there for the bitches, I mean, for the females, yeah, they go for the. Women that's into that turn in life because you'll see a woman out with, with her nips out or with her her her, uh, her boob out in the little doily on top of it. It's like that that looks enticing to men. They go out for that that silly crap, man. Huh? You'll get drunk and get messed up at those 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 parades. Yeah, some of people be uh, naked, man. Yeah, it's the carnival stuff too, and the Lord, you know. Oh, he flushed them down. Yeah, in Brazil, yeah, he messed that that that, that crap up, man. You know, because y'all want to y'all want to be whores and and, and and moles and stuff, man. Yeah, be having sex in the middle. And that, that proves that this place is Rome, man. You know? Yeah. I got a scripture going into, um, you know, like, this is what a real man is according to the scriptures. Right. Real man, and a real man ain't the one that can put plants on the wall and, and fits the edge of your car and stuff like that. <laughs> in a red plaid shirt. <laughs> right. This is uh, First Kings 2. I'm going to start at 1. Now, the days of David died that he should die, and he charged Solomon, his son, saying... I go the way of all the earth. Be thou strong, therefore, and show thyself of buried with his fathers. Right? He was at old age. So he was having his last little talk with his son, uh, uh, Solomon, who became king after him. He told him to show thyself a man. And this is how you do that. And keep the charge of Yahweh thy God to walk in his ways, to keep his statutes and his commandments and his judgments. Down the street, man. Right. Fuck the devil. Stupid ass. <laughs> <laughs> leave her alone. Leave her. Let her go. Let her go. She's overweight. That's why she's mad. No, her, it wasn't right. him. Oh, it was, oh, it was a dude. Right. It was a dude. Oh, damn, <laughs> damn brother. It was I thought. Hey, it was I thought it was. I thought it was the girl. All right. All right. All right. All right. Let's get back to this. Go ahead. It says, uh, "I will read it again." And keep the charge of Yahweh thy God to walk in his ways, to keep his statutes and his commandments and his judgments and his testimonies as it is written in the law of Moses, that thou mayest prosper in all that thou doest and whatsoever.
turn this thyself. So that's why you game banging goofballs in the hood ain't prospering. Because you ain't following the... That's the prosperity doctrine. Following and serving your how about shimmy how was shy. That's why y'all ain't prospering. That's why you... 30 plus year old, still living at your mama's house, Captain eating a Captain Crunch, oops all bear, playing 2K, or or, or living with, at, in your girl's crib, yeah. getting kicked out, because right. you don't pay no bills, right. all right? You ain't a man, you are, you're still a boy. You become a man when you wake well, up in this like, truth. Well, that's why get, when, you tell, when you tell the truth, that's right. That's why I get emotional, they talk about they want to slap you and all this stuff like that. Cause like they mama, because they was raised by her. They didn't have the man in the house to show them how to be a man. This book of Joshua 1 and 8, it says, This book of the law, it says, Shall not depart out of thy mouth, but thou shalt meditate therein day and night, that thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein. For then thou shalt make thy way prosperous. Perfect. And then thou shalt have good success. All right, following the ways of the Yahweh Shem you know, it's, it's going to set you in the right, right direction. Not following the ways of this world. It says, verse 9, have uh, have not I commanded thee be strong and of good courage? Be not afraid, neither be thou dismayed. For the Lord thy power is with thee, with the, uh, whatsoever thou goest. Right. right. The point was verse eight, but ultimately, you know, when, when we follow the ways of the Shot, you know, we're going to be good. This not, song, uh, you can finish that. Psalms one and two. You right. Can understand what you're saying, bro. Right. And you guys want to uh and make make fun of us, talk smack about us when we're telling you the ways that that um. The, the ways God set up us to live on the earth, not to commit adultery, not to uh, uh, do these abominable things, all right, not to uh, unalive each other, not to um, um, disrespect your parents. All of those things are profitable, but you wicked, all right, two third Israelites, you see a problem with that? You're, you, you guys are all messed up. That's why the Lord has to clean y'all up with fire. This is the book of Psalms 1, I'm going to start at 1. It says, Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor stand up in the way of sinners, Perfect. nor go. sit up in the seat of scorn. It says, Blessed is the man that walketh not in the, uh, the way of the ungodly, which will be doing what you niggards, are you two-third niggas are doing in the world. All right, that's the congregation of the dead. Mm -hmm. All right? Uh, it, it says, um, basically, that we are the children uh, of light, so follow after the light, not the darkness, man. Okay, go ahead. It says, verse 2, it says, But his delight is in the law of the Lord, and in his law does he meditate day and night. Right, there you go. Being conversant in the things and the commandments that the Lord gave us, which, like the brother said, like the scriptures say, uh, will help us be uh, uh, prosperous, man. All right, it says, Thou shalt have good success. All right? But if you follow in the ways of the Lord, what is that? Proverbs it says, Even your enemies will be at peace with you. Yep. All right? This is all the Lord gave us. Hey, Ecclesiastes says, this is the whole duty of man. Uh, go ahead, brother. No, go ahead. No, I'm good. Uh, go Leviticus ahead. 18 and 1, it says, uh, And Yahweh speak of the most, saying, Speak unto the children of Israel, say unto them, I, Yahweh, your power, after, after, uh, after the doings of the land of Egypt, where you dwell, shall you not do, after the doings of the land of Canaan, where I bring you, shall you not do. Neither shall you walk in their ordinances. You should do my judgment and keep my orders to walk therein. I am Yahweh, your power. You should therefore keep my statutes and my judgment, which if a man do, he shall live in them. I am Yahweh. All right. So you this, this you supposed to live by this book, man. Right. And the, and the reason why a lot of you uh so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, all right, all but right. you do have the uh, Israelite foreigners that are scattered that look like the heathens, right? The reason why I'm getting unalived out in these streets at a young age is because you broke the commandment that came with the first commandment that came with a promise, which was honor thy mother and thy father, yep. which in doing so, you're going to have a long life. Yep. So all these little young jits, all these little young uh, bad kids, whether they're uh, five, two years old or or uh, 18. 21 year old, the 21, you're still a little baby. Hey, you're that, a little that, ass that, kid. That little, that little shrimp that shot his mom over that video game. Oh, yeah. He's yeah. Like, what, yeah, 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 they try him as an adult. Good. That's good, man. But um, yeah. the reason why, the reason why y'all getting taken out is because you guys are disrespectful to parents. You don't honor your parents. Not only that, Job said what? 
has anybody ever perished being innocent? Exactly. So none of y'all are innocent when you get taken out like that. Ecclesiastes 11 and 9. All right, from, from young Xander to, 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 to all you young dudes dying off now, man. It said, Rejoice, O young man, in thy youth, and let thy heart cheer thee in the days of thy youth, and walk in the ways of thine heart, and in the sight of thine eyes. But know thou that for all these things the Most High will bring thee into judgment. Yes. We brought it out earlier, I had to bring it out again. Right. Yep. Therefore, remove sorrow from thy heart. And put away evil from thy flesh for childhood and youth of vanity. Right. A lot of that stuff is vain, man. Yep. When you look back, you know, basketball and all the stuff the ways of this world teaches you. Football. Hey, so hey, Solomon said even the man in his best estate is vanity. Vanity. Man. Right, That's right. So, yeah. man, it, follow your heart about Chanel shot. That's the only thing that's really going to benefit you. Right. 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 Hey, Solomon even said vanity, vanity. All oh, is vanity. vanity. This is all vanity, yep. you know? Yep. Trying to be a rapper, vanity. Right. Like, you're trying to be the next rich thing. I'm going to go and shake hands with white people. And hey, the, the, the daughter of music has gone low, man. Like I said, you said chapter 12. I mean, you try to get a name out. You try to get a name in the entertainment industry. Or you try to get a name on the streets and shit. That shit played out, man. It's right, because here it is. You'll build up, let's say... You can become successful. You build up a whole empire. You know, you get uh, buildings, properties, this and that. Well, guess what? What did Joe say? He's like, I came into this world naked. I'm going to leave this world naked. Yeah. So here it is. You did all this hard work, all this, all that, you and, know. And but for Proverbs talks about it, like how you got all these riches and then your kids have to just going to fuck it all up. Yeah, and then. And then you leave it to a man un more unworthy than you. Yep, see, y'all know where I'm going with this. Yeah. So, here it is. You leave all of this to so somebody who's going to take it and, and, and do more vanity with it, <laughs> you know? So, the, what's the best thing to do that we're in the earth? All right? It's the fear of how about shimmy out shy, which is the whole duty of man. All right? And, yeah, first and foremost, repent. All right? Be sincere in this truth. Because salvation is where it's at. All right? Salvation is the reward, and we gotta we gotta uh, be active in this truth. Go ahead. This is the book of Proverbs seven and one. It says, "My son, keep my words and lay up my commandments with thee. Keep my commandments and live and my law as the apple of thine eye." Because this is a scripture that basically said the ways of the Lord are not grievous. You know, yep. not grievous. Man. You know, it's very simple. Yeah, it's very you know? simple. It says, uh, bind them uh, upon thy fingers, write them upon the table of thine heart. Your heart is your mind. Yep. You know? right. As the scripture we just read, you know, meditate upon these things day and night. Day and you know? night. Yeah. Yeah. I got something. Proverbs 1 and 20. Show them one, brother. Everybody yeah, see me, say This is Proverbs 1 and 20. Wisdom crieth without. She utters her voice in the streets. Hey, this happening right now, man. What this wisdom, the wisdom of what this book, man. How she, how, how she cry in the streets? Well, Yahweh is using us. We holler straight, man. Did it say utter her words inside of a, a, a old church building? No, 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 no. Hey, we just talking about how Jake going on. Hey, wisdom quiet without. She uttered her voice in the streets. What is happening now? I don't know. She crieth in the chief place of concord. Wait, Hold on, let me get let me get it. Man. Hey man, the rock the uh all the leaks. We downtown Chicago. Downtown Chicago. Where everybody at? They own all this stuff, man. They, they own all this stuff, the, the A's, man. They own all this, man. Hey, eventually, Asian Tans, uh, uh, what is that, Chief Concourse? Uh -huh. Yeah. Chief Concourse. Y'all, all this, y'all, I'm thinking about something else. But yeah, all this right here is the Chief Concourse place, man. Everybody doing business down here. The everybody. gates of the city. The gates to the city, man. And the opening of the gates. The opening of the gates. Yeah, that was thing about, because eventually, Asian Tans, you want to do business, you got to talk to the uh, leaders, so they say, okay, you do this, they'll let you in. Yep. All right? So who owned this? Esau, man. He owned all this, man. Hey, Chicago Federal Bank, Federal Reserve Bank, ain't that far from here, man. Rothschilds own it, man. Man, the Rothschilds own us. <laughs> they yeah, got a, they got birth, birth certificates. Birth certificates social security numbers, you don't man. own your damn selves. But ultimately, yeah. 
We're we're owned by how by Shimmy How Shy. We're uh, bought without a price. He's gonna get redeemed, redeemed, us. redeemed yeah. him. Yep. yep. He's gonna come and redeem yeah. us. Yep. He already bought his back. He just got to come and do it. She cried in the chief places of concourse and the openings of the gates. Yep. In the city, she uttered her words, saying, not, "In the city, not in your mama basement. Not 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 behind no uh, keyboard. Right. Sitting down with your hot cocoa and your marshmallows with swine in them." Right. Uh, with your swine marshmallows and your hot cocoa, hopping on uh, TikTok live, talking smack. Right, with those hot Cheetos and stuff. Right, with the hot crunchy curls. That's one of the top right. signs of the scoffer. Every time somebody turns over, they stop going out and come up with an excuse. Yep. You don't have to go out. You don't have, you don't to, go have to go out. To go out. That's, the, that's one of the Oh, like, like, uh, like, like try to be fine. Like, like, try to be fine. And also, Ryan, man. Right. Oh, man, you got to go, man. The, the uh, internet. That's a high, well, it's sort of like, but it's not the highway in bad ways. So you gotta it's one, here. it's one highway out one of many. Highway. Right, out of many. You know, All right? Then they, then they talk for a while. Then they disappeared and shit. He came on Sonetta show. Then he went to hibernation. We ain't seen him since, man. All right, he thought right. he was gonna blow up and Maybe. be the next best. Hey, well, all, you scoff, up, all you scoff, all you, all you scoff, all you scoff that, all you scoff that funnel, guys, man. Hey, where's your king? Is this your king? Hey, then the scriptures say, "Thine eyes shall see thy teachers." Yeah, How no, can your no, eyes no. see your teachers when you ain't out doing the work? Yep. Right, right. Your ass hiding in the bush like Homer, that Homer Simpson <laughs> meme. Right. They right there, and the next thing you know, they they hiding in the bush. That's right. right. Hey, the history is clear. That they hiding their light under the bushel. Yep. Right. The Israelites <laughs> got kicked out of many places for aggressive street teaching. Oh, that's right. We got kicked out of Rome. Yeah. They threw us out. Hey, get the gas out of here. They said. What's that? That's like Acts, I think, eighteen. Eighteen. And one. Yeah. But before you get that, get a uh, uh, read that. Get Proverbs eight and one. Go go ahead, finish that. All right. It says, "How long, ye simple ones, will ye love simplicity?" All right, being simple. Being simple. And the scorners delight in their scorning, and fools hate knowledge. Reverse of seven, because if they hate knowledge, this is ultimately who they hate. Go to verse seven. Seven. The fear of Yahweh. Is the beginning of knowledge, but fools despise wisdom and instruction. So, ultimately, when you reject this knowledge, you're rejecting the Heavenly Father and His ways. So, it ain't us you hate, right. all right? Because this ain't our message. This is the, the message of the Yahweh Shim Yahweh Shai. So, you ultimately hate God. You hate the Father. You hate His Son right. because you hate His ways, which makes you what? A damn fool. Hey, I made, hey, I made uh, response to the scoffer man. Go talking about where is God during sleep? I said, okay, well, where? I put another video. I made a video. So I said, where is the devil and other gods in slavery? How come the devil is saving in slavery and stuff? How come uh uh Shango? All right, Shango saved you out of slavery. <laughs> All those, all those false god idols. And so how come they say you during slavery? Where was they at? I know where God was at. He was the one that put y'all ass in the captivity. Right. He, yep. You know, because we disobeyed, disobeyed his word. Him, man. It was him. How come mommy, mommy water, they come out the waters and smack the slave ships open and freed our people, man? <laughs> All right. How come they did, how come they did, did not do that, man? What, and number, and another question, what do you guys do to offend them, to make them, make your false gods allow you to, to be a slave, man? All right. All right. Hey, they're false. These false idols can't even uh, uh, clean the bird doo-doo off their own shoulder. <laughs> they can't get the dust off their own shoulder. Yeah. Hey, look at what happened to Dagon. Yeah. Right? The fish guy. He fell. Yeah, yeah. The, uh, uh, oh, one of those the Hamites. Yeah, one of them Hamite uh, nations. Philistines. They got, uh, they got hemorrhoids. The hemorrhoids. And they had a plague of the mice. Yeah. Yep. You know? Because they had our Ark of the Covenant, which... Only the Levites are allowed to uh, handle that. Yep. You know, it does how you know the Ark of Covenant ain't, ain't over there in Ethiopia. He, I know, right? Because yeah. come on now, they would have been trying to give it back. Like we're the real Israelites. Yeah, uh. Big old blisters on their face <laughs> and stuff, man. You know, so right. so what, what what happened to Dagon? Dagon got knocked over. All right, and and as a matter of fact, what happened to Bell and the Dragon? All right. Oh yeah, I love that one. <laughs> what happened? Footprints. You know, hey. Right. Hey, spiritually, we are a uh, spiritual Daniel because we out here casting down all these uh, these false idols through this right. word and, and declaring the true God. All right. Yahweh and his son, Yahweh Shai, the heavenly father being the most high and Yahweh Shai being his son. That was the way he put that seed in his mouth, right? And blew 
He blew him up. <laughs> and then the other one, um, uh, I would think it was Dagon where, uh, see, Dagon is eating. Look, see, the food is ate. Whole time it was those uh, goofy old priests in there. Day. They're like, man, we got a free meal every day as long as we, you know. We don't got to work. All we got to do is not. Nah. Even though Egyptian gods, uh, they show on TV where they poke holes through the idols and what to do, the priests will talk to them, making people believe the gods are talking to them. <laughs> I know. Hey, there was this one uh, report right. where uh, the the uh, the Jesus statue, all right, it was uh, leaking water. Oh, it and people people thought, <laughs> God, look at people thought it was real, like water yeah. was really coming from him. And they were taking the water, they were cleaning, they were drinking the water. Right. The whole time it was a leak from the bathroom upstairs. <laughs> <laughs> and they over here, they over here drinking that. <laughs> These people are bugged water. out. They ass was washing themselves with toilet water. <laughs> whole time. The bathroom upstairs had a leak and the water was running over the they, statue. So they drinking so booty they water then. Yup. Put the booty water on Drinking toilet water. toilet water. Here, we put that on my baby head. Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> it's a it's holy water. Holy water. Yeah, read that. This is the book of Proverbs 8 and 1. It says, Does not wisdom cry? And understanding put forth her voice. It says she standeth in the top of high places. <coughs> by the way in the places of the paths. It says she cried at the gates. At the entry of the city, at the coming and at the doors. Yeah, this is where we are right now. The highways, the byways, in the city. You know, preaching the words. Yeah, how about shot? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That proves you got you got to be out here doing the work. Yeah, you can't be semi had. You know, in Mama's basement, he kept the corn cereal and the strawberry steaks and stuff, man. I got something right. real quick just to back up. Right. This Meanwhile, is the, the whole world is on fire. Right. You just at your mama's house scoffing. Mm -hmm. yep. Scoffing stuff. Smoking blunts playing 2K. This the book of Ecclesiastes. That's the care package for a two thirds. Right. Uh, right. Freaking uh, potato chips, 2K, and, and blunts, and a, and a bottle of Hennessy. I'm black and mild because you can't smoke weed inside mama's house. You gotta smoke that outside. <laughs> black and mild. Inside. That's the that's the. Uh, smoke the cigarettes anyway. That's yeah. the two thirds <laughs> starter kit. Yeah. This is the book of Ecclesiastes 10 and 6. It says, folly is set in great dignity, and the rich sit in low place. Right, stupid, you know, stupid, you know, uh, stuff and stuff, you know, set up on high. But when it's time to come, you know, learn about the truth, like, how about you now try knowing who you are according to the Bible, and things of that nature, it's looked down upon. You know, the men of the Lord on highways and byways teach you the truth, it's looked down upon. Yeah. But folly is set in great dignity, meaning what? You know, all these things are set up high, you know, in this world. Yeah, if, we, if, we, if we were frying pork chops yeah. and doing the commit sign, all this stuff, man, <laughs> we'll have like over like a million, a hundred, hundred million views, man. Right. All right. Yeah. Back in Proverbs 1, verse 23. Turn you at my reproof. Behold, I will pour out my spirit upon you. I will make known my words unto you. And how is he doing that right now? Through the men that he uh he set up to push this word out, whether you can receive that or not. Cause remember, go back to Exodus when when uh Yahweh verbally gave out the commandments. They were like, Hey Moses, you go deal with him, we'll deal with you. Right. We at least we die. You know, they didn't want to deal with the so powerful, man. Right. Cause he came back, he came with power and lightnings and smoke and fire. It's a lot. And you did uh, talk about how God didn't talk to me. Okay, let him talk to you. Soon. Right. Yeah. Hey, you'll your burn bones, up. Your, your bones, you know what? Your flesh probably fall off your bones, man. You don't, yeah. Yeah. You know, so so when uh, when uh, Moses or when, when Yahweh said, look, don't deal with your women for three days, sanctify right. yourself. Don't even come near the mountainside. Whoever come near this is gonna get unalive. You know, I'm gonna come down. I'm gonna right. give you the. I'm gonna give you my commandments. Yep. Afterwards, everybody was like, "Hey Moses, you deal with him. We right. gonna deal with you." Right. So look, the way the Lord is speaking is through. Well, what is that? Uh, Luke, the first chapter. Get it right quick. Luke one and like sixty eight to back the brother up, because he's making his words known unto you. I think it's like Luke one sixty eight or sixty nine. Right, Luke, uh, this one, Luke 1 and 70. As he has spoke, spake by the mouth of his holy prophets, which have been since the world began. There you so go. He said, by the mouth of his holy prophets. Right, Amos, what? He revealed his us, us secrets to his servants, <laughs> Amos, the prophets. Uh, Amos 3 and 7. You know? Yeah. So you're, you, the, the God is talking to you. It's a lot. It said, by his, by his prophets, right? Mm -hmm. Hey, most I got to have a mediator, man. You got those the believers. I believe your house, Shane. Ain't no mediators. Hey, the Levitical priest, they was our mediator, man. Yeah. 
That's right. All right. They was our, our mediators, man. Matter of fact, they used to bear. They used to bear our iniquities, man. Same yeah. thing like your house shot did. Hey, give me that Leviticus uh, ten and seventeen. Take that in there. So you damn scoff, shut you scoff or something, man. All right. Most high gonna always have a mediator, man, to talk to. You, man. This is the book of Leviticus ten and seventeen. That's it. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, get that. Read that. This is the book of Leviticus 10 and 17. It says, Wherefore have ye not eaten the sin offering in the holy place, seeing it is the most it is the most holy? Yeah, that's the okay. okay. Is it the most holy? And yet uh you have, have given it holy you, place. Okay. Uh I'm gonna I'm gonna start at the top. This is the book of Leviticus 10 and 17. It says, Wherefore have ye not eaten the sin offering in the holy place, seeing it is most holy and Yahweh have given it you to bear the iniquity of the congregation yeah, what? the iniquity of the congregation uh -huh. to make atonement for them before the Lord I go man death in your sins I mean death in your sins right there man the Levitical priest is to bear your iniquities man so you follow this correct alright hey you scoffers man just shut up man I guess on the back. Right, go know ahead. your role no, and no, shut, no, your no, mouth. shut your mouth. How can someone else die for your sins? It doesn't matter what you're saying. Right. He bear the, there goes the Levitical, the Levitical priest bear the iniquity of the whole congregation of Israel, man. That's right. This is the book uh, right? of Jeremiah 44 and 4. It says, How be I sent unto you all my servants, the prophets, rising early and sending them, saying, Ooh. Oh, do not this abominable thing that I hate. Ooh. Right. You know, right. We are, we're, that's what we're doing right now. Throughout the uh, the highways and byways, throughout the four corners of the world, you know, starting with our elders and our apostles on down, you know, telling you, you know, not to do these things that you help us from shall hate. Read the next verse, because this is what they, this is what they said. After, after the Lord said that, he set up his prophets and tell the people, do not these abominable things that I hate, which, what are the abominable things that God's hate? Anything that goes against his commandments, all right? His ways that he set up for us to live on the earth. Go ahead. Verse 5, Jeremiah 44 and 5, it says, But they hearken not, nor incline their ear to turn from their wickedness, yep. to burn no incense unto, unto other gods. So there you go. I don't want to hear that. <laughs> la, cover their ears. La, 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 la. That's what they're ultimately doing. Yep. That's why the scriptures say, you know, uh, speak to us smooth things, prophesy to see. We said, uh, get hey, out of ears. Mm -hmm. Yep. <laughs> out of ears. Yep. So they don't want to hear the, the uh what's that in Zechariah? They pull the shoulder. Here it is. They, you, here it is. You're trying to stop somebody from crossing the street because a whole bus about to hit them. They don't see it. They got their headphones on and they're looking down at their phone. Yeah. You try to grab them, hey, hey, and they over here yeah. pulling the shoulder. They don't want to hear, they don't want to listen. Yeah. You know? I gotta put the right Go ahead, you got it. Zechariah 7 and 11. It says, But they refused to hearken and pulled away the shoulder. Mm -hmm. And stop their ears that they should not hear. They stop their ears. La 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 la. They ain't trying to hear the word. Yeah, look, look at the brother over there. That's what they doing, covering their ear. And you had people that walk past us doing that exact same thing. Yep. We see it time and time. They don't want to hear why? Because they know they're gonna get cut they, through the word. They, they get cut. They get uh, cut by the word, man. Yup. Oh, right. You listen. You niggas are listening to every NBA young boy. In <laughs> Don't want to hear the word of the Lord. Right. What's wrong with you? Right. They got all those verses memorized all, of the rappers, but great. they only got one verse in the Bible memorized. Hey, John three sixteen. Y'all hey, hey, already know. Hey, they job. They job are called. They'll listen to their boss. Hey, you come to work. Oh, yes, sir, boss. Yes, sir, yes, sir, boss. Yes, sir. Hey, cause you know you didn't get that check there. Your ass gonna get kicked out of that apartment. Man. Go ahead. The, the Proverbs 28 and 9 It says he that turneth away his ear From hearing the law right. Even his prayer shall be an abomination Right, right? so if you turn your ways from hearing the words Of Yahweh Bashim El Shai Yahweh Bashim El Shai ain't got you know, nothing that he want to hear from you Right you know? There's some more in that Proverbs too Let me tell you one yeah. thing I'm talking about uh, uh, the bear of niggas Yahweh Bashim did uh, uh, carry out niquities He's the lamb and stuff So <laughs> this, this, the big priest used to do the same thing It's not like a man like uh, It's like this brother do something I'm not gonna get punished because he he did something, you know, mm -hmm. just to clear it up, man. All right, but but yeah, your, your house has the, the is our mediator, man. That's the point. All right, Luke yeah. seven, Luke yep. seven said we have uh, piped unto you, right? You, know? you have not get dead. get it, get it, <laughs> uh, get that. I will love the pipe piper. You have pipe. Uh, we pipe, pipe with you in dance. We ain't talking about no R. Kelly either. Right, right. Go ahead. Yeah, finish that. Uh, finish that Proverbs, and we're gonna read that. What is it, Micah? Oh, Jose, okay. Go ahead. You got it. 24. All right. Because I have called. Call it out again. Uh, Proverbs 1 and 24. 
Because I have called and ye refused, yep. I have stretched out my hand and no man regarded. But ye have said at not all my counsel yep. and would none of my reproof. Yep. I also will laugh at your calamity. Wait, did we not read uh, Psalms the second chapter? Blesses the man who uh, stands in the counsel of the uh, of um of of God. Roughly paraphrasing. So that's where you get the reproof from. The counsel of 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 God is is the scriptures. You know the correct way. But Jake don't want to get reproof. They too damn proud. Man. Right. A sinful man will not be reproved. Yep. Because mm -hmm. they gonna have to. Cause look, they gonna have to start from ground. They gonna have to tear all the all the false beliefs. They gonna have to throw it out. They gotta start out all over again, man. Yep. Find a reason for it to his will. Yeah. Go ahead. <laughs> Go ahead. This is the book of Matthew. No, there's more in there. Keep on reading. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. In, uh, yeah, keep on reading. Because there's a consequence for not taking heed. Go ahead. Uh, Proverbs 1 26. I also will laugh at your calamity. I will mock when your fear cometh, when your fear cometh as desolation, and your destruction cometh as a whirlwind, when distress and anguish cometh upon you. Then shall ye call upon me, but I will not answer. They shall seek me early, but they shall not find me. Yep. For that they hated knowledge, and they did not choose the fear of Yahweh. They would none of my counsel. They despised all my reproof. Therefore, shall they eat of the fruit of their own way and be filled with their own devices. For the turning away of the simple shall slay them and the prosperity of fools shall destroy them. But whosoever hearkeneth unto me shall dwell safely. Hey, and shall be quiet from fear of evil. Hey, that's how we gonna Woo! get. That's how we gonna. That's how we gonna get through Jacob's trouble. When the seat hip get issue, martial law, all that stuff, man. Hey, we depend on your how, your how, while your how was shot, man. Not, not my, um, my, I got my gat and this and that, my homeboys. All right, not no bug out packs, last socks, all that stuff, man. Hey, we depend on your how, while your how was shot. Especially with everything that's going on with the, uh, with the pollution, right? Things like that with the water system. Right, water. Which they on purpose? Yeah, on purpose. doing it, man. And they probably releasing a uh, brain eating. Uh, what they call it? Um, amoeba. Amoebas, yeah. Amoeba. They probably releasing brain, uh, brain eating amoebas on purpose in the water system, man. Yep. So you got to go to them and get some water. Yeah. Right. So, so what the brother read in that proverbs is, hey, look, the Lord's calling out to to you now. You either gonna answer the phone or or send him the voicemail. But guess what? If you answering now. When that time comes where you call upon him, you know, he'll hear you, he'll, he'll hear you. But if you ain't listening now, hey, look, when it's, when you're going through your distress, when you're going through the uh, JT time, Jacob's trouble, guess what? You're going to call on God and you're going to get straight, sent straight to voicemail. The number you have reached, you know, <laughs> you know, the number you have reached, you know, so look, the Lord ain't going to be dealing with you in that time, you know, hey, and it's always, it's, it, it damn near never fails. Whenever somebody's getting jacked up or, or something really happens to them, uh, uh, Something bugged out, whether it's a car accident or they're getting shot at, whatever. Oh God, God, please, God! They want to call on God, yep. but it's gonna be too late. And this is what they say also. They say, God, if you get me out of this situation, I'll right, promise. right, I, I, I promise. And then he's gonna hold that fried pork chop sandwich. Right, right. You know, get some of those ribs. Right. You can't tell us we ain't telling the truth on that one. Say, dear God, I want to keep you safe. Right, hey, baby. Uh, <laughs> can you? Can you go to Goose Island and give me some shrimp, baby? Yeah, <laughs> that's what's up. Hey, there's a 50 Cent song that goes, uh, uh, um, when he started leaking, he started screaming, oh, please, God, help me. Something right. like that. Like, right. dude got shot up. He asked for God to help him. Like, look, bro, when you get jacked up, that's your judgment. God is the one who sent that judgment for you to get jacked up in the first place. All right? So ain't no, oh, my God. Hey, even the atheists oh will yell out, oh, my God, when they about to get judged. That's why Isaiah 55 and 6 says what it says. You know, seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Call ye upon him while he is near. Who That's was, right. What was the dude in the chair who was the, the super physicist, the super smart? Oh, um, freaking, um, you're talking about... Uh, it, Hawkins. Steve Hawkins. 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 Steve Hawkins. 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 Right. The, com the computer dude? Definitely, yeah. <laughs> he had a computer, had to talk for him. 
One of the smartest guys in the world. Couldn't yeah. figure out how to get out of that jam, Lord. Yeah. Jam, <laughs> you know his ass was trying to uh, download his com- his brain into a oh, he tried to be something. A Tony Stark. Right. He tried to. <laughs> Over here using right. the computer to talk. See, the Lord put judgment on him because he was wicked. Yeah. So that that was judgment. All right. Yeah. That was judgment. This is the book of Isaiah 65 and 11. Oh, yeah. It says, But ye are they that forsake the Lord, that forget my holy mountain, that prepare a table for that truth, and that furnish the drink offering unto that number. It says, therefore, will I number you to the sword, and ye shall all bow down to the slaughter, because when I called, ye did not answer. Yeah. When I spake, ye did not hear, but did evil before mine eyes, yeah. and did choose that wherein I delight that's, that's not. That's happening now. Jake Buckle up gets the truth and stuff. <laughs> and back a while ago, when uh, Kanye, where the most I used, Kanye and Kyrie Irving, all right, to get yep. the if, well, he already used it, but you know, now you got no excuse and shit. Right. Right. You ain't no, it's, it's like all these videos on YouTube, TikTok. Man, ain't no, it's like, man, I'm a foundation black American. <laughs> I'm Native American. I'm a Latino, man. All right. All the studios, you doing all the wickedness. And you you just run all the prophecies and stuff. No, nah, man, nobody even read no prophecy came true. And prophecy, come, prophecy happened before your eyes, man. Right. Saying, no, then should I know it was a prophet of month of Yep, go ahead. Keep, keep reading down. Yeah, kind of. yeah. You got that Hosea still, right? Yep. Okay, cool. Keep reading down. Uh, Isaiah 65 and um 13. <laughs> Speaking of port, uh, his car butter walking down the street. This port, uh, the little port thing. You got his pork sandwich. This the book. Oh, yeah, the pork, you know, little brown pork. Oh, the ground, the, the, the rinds. Rinds. Yeah, pork, their version of pork rinds. All right, go ahead. <laughs> this the book of Isaiah 65 and 13. It says, Therefore, thus saith the Lord Yahweh. Behold, my servant shall eat, but ye shall be hungry. Behold, my servant shall drink, but ye shall be thirsty. Yeah, that's two ways. Talking about spiritual and also uh, physical food, man. Cause you you gonna starve? We ain't gonna starve, man. Matter of fact, when the when the blame damage happened, all right, we was getting we was getting fed good, man. Brothers yeah. had jobs and stuff. Everybody had a, everybody the rescue people had no jobs. Brothers had jobs. They we had got food, blessed with money, time. all types yep. of stuff. Oh, Look. we had grocery stores that had all their food. Y'all was out like, man. Man, ain't no steak, man. Ain't no chicken. Y'all ain't, ain't no have chicken, no toilet man. paper. No toilet paper. We had all that stuff, man. <laughs> I want places to get shut down because you ain't had that whatchamacallit. Yeah, yeah. You yep. were able to do certain things. Yep. Hey, you man, know? we was getting taken care of, man. Hey, your how, your how, your how, your how, your how with us. And you gonna yep. be with us with things really turned up, man. Yeah, how we're willing, yep. yep. Hey, what did your how was shy say? You know, he said it in Matthew's, uh, the 19th chapter, and he said it somewhere in Luke where he said, he said, if you forsake houses, Children, wise, family, oh, for man. my for land, for my name's sake, you're gonna receive a hundredfold. Oh, oh, but in Luke, he said, in this life and the world to come. Woo. So we're gonna get blessed on this side too. Yep, go ahead. Yep. Yep. For all you talking about bum misery, you guys are bums. Go get a job. Go get a job. Well, guess what? We do have jobs, and this is our first priority job that we're doing right now. That's right. I, I used to crack up early when they say right. they, we don't teach on Saturdays. You know, you be off on Sundays and Saturdays. Go get a job like do this Sunday, Saturday, Sunday. Right, right. <laughs> Jake just dumb, man. They ass probably don't got a job. Right. And it's the company of the prophets, man. Yep. Just get that memo. Right. Hey, this is the greatest job to have, to be a yep. prophet, man. That's right. Yep. All right, go ahead. It says, Behold, my servant shall drink, but ye shall be thirsty. Behold, my servant shall rejoice, but ye shall be ashamed. Yep. It says, Behold, my servant shall sing a, for joy of heart, but it's, he it, shall. It, it, that shame mean you gonna he's all gonna, gonna go ham on you, man. He's gonna be beating you up in prison, stomping you, putting detention centers, all that stuff. And you're gonna feel you gonna feel you're gonna be salty, man, but you're gonna be shamed. You're gonna what's that gonna shame you, man? He's gonna bring you down with that pride, man. Then you're gonna know who the prophets are. Yeah. Right before a fall cometh pride. Yeah. You know? Yeah, go ahead. It says, verse 14, it says, Behold, my servant shall sing for joy of heart, yep. but ye shall cry for sorrow of heart. You so, so, oh, man, you're going to be in prison, hold your head down. You're going to think about all those damn videos you scoff, all the time you pass by, all those jokes they used to talk about. All right? That, fat, that certain fat member who, who's an Israelite, they used to dog them, all that stuff, try to tell you, you're going to think about all this stuff, man. You don't eat pork? You don't more eat for us. Yep. You don't need pork? Yep. More you, for you, us. You're going to be locked up. You're going to be locked up in your cell. You're going to have to see him in you. 
starving and stuff. Cause Esau, 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 Esau not gonna just because you take the seed. I mean, Esau gonna feed you, man. All right. And then you're gonna be Esau gonna press that butt. He gonna put you on that guillotine machine. He gonna press that butt. You gonna get this soup. Chink. Yep. Hey, don't even look at this dude. Yeah, don't look at don't him. Don't look at him because you're going to activate his demon over here. Right. Read that. Uh, finish that and we're going to read the Hosea. Uh, Isaiah 65 and uh, 14. It says, Behold, my oh, servant shall sing for joy of heart, but you shall cry for sorrow oh, of heart, and shall howl for vexation of spirit. Uh, yep, that's it. Uh, anyone is that? All right. He said, Whoa, Go ahead. Yep, this Hosea 4 4. It said, Yeah, no. Speak up, speak up. Yet let no man strive nor reprove another, for thy people are as they that strive with the priests. Therefore shall thou the fall first shot. in the day, the and the prophet also shall fall with thee in the night, <laughs> and I will destroy thy mother. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Because thou hast rejected knowledge, I will also reject thee, that thou shalt be no priest to me. Seeing thou hast forgotten the law of thy power, I'll, I will also forget thy children. Right in the past, even the, the priests and the prophets, they had to go into captivity, even though they might have been on point. All right, but this time, the Lord is going to separate the two-thirds of the nation of Israel from the elect. Uh, right, they people are those who strive against the priests. Yeah, and little do they know, too, because they don't know. Make sure South you know? all right when you walk past this weirdo. Oh, he's going to use the restroom? Yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah, why, that was a demon over there. That that person's bugged out. That's why I say my people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. Yep. I, hey, hey, when, you look at, shoes, when you look at the, even though school is bullshit, when you look at the lowest reading and comprehension scores, it's going to say black, Native American, and Latino every single time. Right? Our people don't pay attention. Our people don't read. Our people are not into studying and, and, and into uh, uh, workmanship. Right? That's why you destroy it, which the, the Lord's workmanship is the, the number one yep. workmanship you're supposed to do. Yep, the yep. scriptures say, hate not laborious work, uh, especially of um, carpentry. All right? That's what we're doing, man. We're, we're the spiritual uh, carpenters. Right. We're the masons. We have to build. Building up the house of David. Right. We're the righteous masons. That's what we're doing. Uh, you want, uh, you can start, uh, start. This is the book of Isaiah 1 and 1. So like it, which the scriptures say, they shall build, not shall throw down. So you masons on the left hand side, y'all gonna be destroyed along with this place. Mm -hmm. This is the book of Isaiah 1 and 1. It says, the vision of Isaiah, the son of Amos, which he saw concerning Judah and Jerusalem in the days of Uzziah, uh, Jotham, Ahaz, and Hezekiah, king of Judah, kings of Judah. It says, hear, O heavens, and give ear, O earth, for the Lord has spoken. I have nourished and brought up children, and they have rebelled against me. Mm -hmm. It says, the ox know of his owner, and the ass is master's crib. But Israel does not know, my people does not consider. They don't consider, man. He said the ox knows his master's crib. And those are two docile um, animals. But you niggas, you don't know where you're going. All right. You don't know where you came from, nor do you know where you're going. Right? And more importantly, he says you don't consider. So you guys don't even give a fuck. Like, yeah, why did yeah. Negroes go into slavery? Why is this happening to us? Like, y'all y'all never put one plus one equals two. Y'all y'all don't want to figure it out. Y'all just trust in oppression, like the scriptures say. I got that. Go <laughs> okay, uh, I got that. This is Isaiah 30 uh and 1. Woe to the rebellious children, said Yahweh, they take counsel, but not of me. And they're covered with the covering but not of my spirit, and that they may add sin to sin, that walk to go down into Egypt, and have not asked at my mouth, to strengthen themselves in the strength of Pharaoh, and to trust in the shadow of Egypt. Therefore shall the strength of Pharaoh be your shame, and the trust in the shadow of Egypt your confusion. Okay? okay. Go, go ahead, go ahead. Hey, you trusting it? You trusting in this system? You trusting in this kingdom? You thinking that things are going to get better? Yep. It's not going to get better. Yep. The Bible prophesies that things are going to get worse. Yep. Go hey, ahead, brother. Hey, on every board of directors, they got an either black or Latino face. You know, they have one or two for for diversity. All right, in the presidential cabinet, you got the, the black. You know, they got a black face or a Latino. We finally made it, right? The strength of Egypt. Yeah. Right, we finally made it to the top. Y'all right, trust in the strength of Egypt. Right, little do they know 
that all their money is about to go to naught. Right. All right, because the system's going to crash, and you're either going to one or two things. You're going to have to get down with the, the B system, or you're going to have to uh, get locked up in the B system. All right. Either way it goes, you're gonna be. We're gonna be in this system where either we're gonna take the RFID radio frequency identification device, which is the M A R K. All right, you know how to spell. Let's 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 do some spelling. M A R K, right? Of the beast, you're gonna either have to take it to buy and sell. All right, so here it is. You did all this hard work to make it to the top. Oh, now you gotta uh, receive this device in order to use your money. All right, and if you don't get, guess what? It says the devil's going to cast some of you into prison. All right, why? Because the, the for the the hopeful elect, they're not going to they're not going to receive that device and get, uh, go along with this wicked system. And you know, at stage one of that trust in Egypt was the ninth. Negroes finally got into the club. Well, black, they got a decent well, job. <laughs> right, they got the GM job or whatever. 90s boy, y'all still ready that to Afrocentric right. bullshit. Y'all finally got on TV and, and got, you know, you know, platinum and all this shit. Niggas still ready. All oh, the 90s are so great, right? The 90s was a snare, man. All right. All right. The end of crack. Yeah, shit. The crowd yeah. still on that shit. Yeah, the 90s was a great snare. Some of y'all still haven't woken up from the damn night. I remember um, when Obama got elected. These, these, <laughs> These mm -hmm. people was going wild, crying. You had we made Jackson it. Crying. We made, we made Jesse it. Racism. Jackson. We we beat racism. <laughs> a whole lot of. A whole lot of <laughs> what was his slogan? Uh, something. Uh, change. Yes, yes, we can. Oh, yes, we can. Right when they, when they was playing that backwards, it said. Uh, uh, when they were playing that backwards, it said. Uh, thank you, Satan. When you when you say that, it, it was bugged out. So, ain't, ain't nothing changed. All right, but the time, yeah. <laughs> that's about it. We're still in the same predicament. Ain't nothing really changed for you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Back on Jeremiah, um, summer has come, the harvest has come, but we are yet saved. We are still not saved. Yep. All right, so hey, we're still in captivity. Uh, like Barack said, Baruch, Barack. <laughs> <laughs> Baruch says, man, we are yet in captivity to, to this, this day. day. Yeah. All right. And, man, it's, it's almost up, man. I got something real quick. Go ahead. It's the book of Jeremiah 2 and 14. It says, Is Israel a servant? Is he a homeborn slave? Why is he spoiled? Right now, people got that slave mentality even to this day. You know? You know, mm -hmm. feel like, oh, you know, doing a corporate job and things of that nature, you know, working for the so called white man, you think you made it. You know? And, and like you read, the ass knows his master crib. Y'all yeah. not even a homeborn slave to a good master. Right. You're a whole boy slave to a piece of shit. I mean, a, a low life. Mm -hmm. Like, right? you a home born slave to this man who still don't give a F about you, right? You see what Donald Sterling said, which they said all of the NBA owners said that. Uh, what's the NFL owner? Uh, 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 Jerry Jones. Yeah, they, they, they call him in the picture. Uh, Bro, why, why else was you like? You right. want to see a nigga get fucked up? Right. Protesting uh, against sorry. it was, you know, inter, uh, interracial schools and all that stuff. Right. You was there with the lynch mob, basically. Right? You're still in power. <laughs> and all of them were like that. Yeah. Right? right. You know you know how it proves that so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans are, are servants? Look, show, don't show up to your job for <laughs> uh, for one day. Just, the, 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 there will be nobody to drive these buses, no. which is a lot of jakes. Your train system. No food. No. The, this car now is cooking on the food. Yup. Uh, yeah, you got Issachar, uh, so-called Mexicans cooking up in all, shoot, in uh, in foreign restaurants that ain't even their own nation, mm -hmm. they're in the back cooking those meals. Your Chinese, uh, your little Thai bowls and your um, um, whatever whatever food you go, it's Issachar back there cooking it. And they're your janitors, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. So look, don't show up to work for a day. This system will freaking... Yeah will drop it'll crumble because we are the servants which when you look up well when you look up the word employee it really goes back into a, a slave you know so if we didn't go if we didn't go to work hey this place will not uh continue but you know they they thinking about that check on friday though and, and going to spend it up at the club Man, you want to land back off of that so when you travel all right, if you travel and you go to any uh, what they call uh, resorts, mm -hmm. right, and, uh, and you do any timeshare presentations, all you're going to see is Esau Edom having a good time, right? 
Yeah. And all the pictures, they're going to be all red and everything. Oh, yeah. They're going to be uh, on the wave runner. They're going to try to get you to buy into that property. Guess who doing all the work, like the brother Yasserala said? Jake! Yup. Anytime you go to any one of these resorts that they try to get you to buy in, it ain't nothing but Jake cooking and cleaning and uh, doing the lawn care and everything else and the building maintenance and everything else. Oh, that is, oh, that is, yeah. that is, that is, uh, Jamaica. Jake getting pumped out by Esau in uh, Moab, man. Yeah. Making all they wait, Esau Moab. But Esau making all that money off the resort. Jake ain't getting nothing. Pennies on the dollar. Pennies on the dollar, man. Yeah. Same thing in Mexico. Mexico, uh, it's kind of on Mexico. The Edomites from Spain. Yeah. Which, which you got, you got, you got, like, we just read that. You got a homeborn slave, then you got a, a, a caught, you know, like a caught slave. Yeah. Like, like in the new roots, he was a uh, culture. In this one, he was like, he was still wild. Right? But then his kids, they became homeborn slaves. That's all they knew was slavery. Right? Mm -hmm. That's all y'all know is slavery. Even though you can still read about your history, even though it's so, you know, our people will say that we're kings and queens and all this, but you are right. a slave. Right? You had a question? Oh, uh, yeah, bro. Um, I've been, uh, this is, I'm supposed to be, uh, black people, Israelites. Right, right. Just Hebrew is white. Just Hebrew is white. Yeah, Hebrew is white. Yeah, bro. Now, I was just, um, I've been doing research on y'all lately. It's one of my, uh, my homeboys from the past. I've never been big on religion until he started talking to me about it. And it's, it's not nothing, religion. Yeah, bro. Nothing ever really resonated with me until I started, like, studying with y'all. I don't know too much. Um, just, just the basic so I was just listening to you. Okay. Mm. If you have any questions, you know, that's why we're out here for, so, to edify our people. You know? All right, because it's really your history, right? So what's the basis of y'all movement? Well, really, it goes back to the scriptures. Um, just keeping the law, statutes, commandments, and the most high. Because um, that's the main reason why we went into slavery. Like, when you look up stories of uh, Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans getting fucked over, that's the reason. We had our own power. We, we chose not to listen to him. We wanted to be like everybody else and start doing waiver shit. Yep. So this is our punishment. Um, and then according to that, you know, we lost our history, we lost our heritage, because we're the only group on planet Earth that don't know who the hell we are. Yeah, Africans can go back to Africa, Chinese go back to China and all that, but what about us? This is the book of Jeremiah 17 and 4. It says, and thou even thyself shalt the discontinue from thy heritage that I gave thee, and I will cause thee to serve thy enemies in the land which thou knowest not. We have kindled a fire in my anger. Right. What, what, what one whole nation of people lost their whole identity? Yep. Us. That, that happened to so-called white men. They go all the way back to Rome. They they could yeah. pick their lineage. We can't. The That's first part of the reason I started looking at this because uh, literally lineage. So, uh, you know about where I came from. Where I came from. Mm -hmm. where I came from. Right. The, the furthest you really could go back is the slave records, and they destroyed most of those. But when you go back to the history of uh, the slaves on the first ships, they were singing Kumbaya, they were speaking Hebrew. So why was they speaking Hebrew and you, you call us Africans? Well, something ain't adding up, right? Why did the Native Americans have uh, fringes on their uh, garments? Oh, uh, matter of fact, why was the Natives so friendly with so-called Blacks? Because deep down inside, they, they knew they were of the same nation. Uh, in so many words, all right? So the whole point is really just coming back to your heritage because the world as we know it is, this place is done with, man. Not one nation on planet Earth has lasted or ruled forever. And America is no different from ancient Rome, ancient Egypt, uh, and, and all the other great civilizations that came and went, all right? Look at the infrastructure, look at, look at the monetary system, look at all the shit that's going on in the world right now. At some point in time, it has to implode upon itself. So the whole thing is the Most High is calling his true people back to him so he can protect us from all the shit that's about to happen, you know? Um, and there's a reason why Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans are, are some of the most spiritual people on planet Earth. Because we, we go all the way back to Israel. Like, you ever heard of the Mayan calendar? Yeah. That, well, that's in the Bible. The Iskarites knew how to read the stars and tell time. That's part of our history. Um, even when you go into some of the the great warriors of the past from the house of David. That was us. That was us doing all doing all those great things. But it's not talked about. 
because uh, the vast majority uh, of the world, what they do is whitewash everything. Yeah. Like they say Jesus is only, well, who you even call Jesus was a so-called black man. The, uh, the 12 disciples, the apostles, they were black men. Moses was a black man. But that's not portrayed on this side of the earth because they really don't want us to know who we are. Here's one thing, because we just was talking about the whole shit with Kanye and Kyrie. Why did that cause so much shit? Because obviously what they were saying was true. We are, we are the, we are the Israelites. Why would y'all cancel these these men so bad to the point where it backfired? Because if the shit wasn't true, you just joke the shit off. No, obviously it's real. We are the children in the book. Even when you read the matter of fact, get Deuteronomy 28, real quick. Start at 15. Uh, read 15 and just jump straight to the point. This is the book of uh, Deuteronomy 28 and 15. And it says, But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy power, which we didn't hearken, go ahead, to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. And some of the curses was us not having good businesses. Because what did Kanye say? He said, I'm not mad at the Jewish man. I'm jealous of his businesses and his homes being together and the community being, being together. Well, part of the curses uh, was that we were going to be a broken people. When you go to the hood, we ain't got the chicken shops. We ain't got the beauty supply. That was, those are all heathen nations. We don't got our own shit. We got to go to them and buy shit. And if we do have a business, nine times out of ten, it's going to go bankrupt. Or some, something is going to go wrong with it. Go ahead. I cannot study this more. Uh, you got... Shit, YouTube pages. Um, I got to come over here. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Verse, uh, verse 16, it says, Cursed curse shalt thou be in the city, and cursed shalt thou be in the field. Right. So all, all throughout the world, we was going to be cursed. Go ahead. Cursed shalt thy, be, uh, so like it, cursed shall be thy basket and thy store. You know, which the elder brother Shapiro was talking about, how we don't have businesses and things of that nature. You know, we do have business. They shut down immediately. Well, they, they don't have no longevity to it. All right. Well, they have interest rate on the back there alone. Yeah. You know? Where it's impossible to pay back. Go ahead. It says, Cursed shall be the fruit of thy body, and the fruit of thy land, and the crease of thy kind, and the flocks of thy sheep. And if it is one that's, you know, doing good, it's because Esau keeps certain ones as they, they fucking cry upon him. You see, the black man is prospering. You can do, you know. Just to hit that diversity uh, quote. Uh, go ahead. It says, Cursed shalt thou be when thou comest in, and cursed shalt thou be when thou right, goest you, out. You fuck when you're born into this world, and you, you F when you leave out, man. Hey, who was that? Um, Red Fox. <laughs> he died in debt. Okay? Hey, DMX. Died $25 million in debt, man. All right? Go ahead. It says, The Lord shall send upon thee cursing, vexation, and rebuke, and all that thou sittest, uh, settest thy hands unto for to do, until thou be destroyed, and until thou perish quickly, because of the wickedness of thy doings, whereby thou hast forsaken. Right. Jump straight to the point. So that's what happened to us, because we, we chose not to listen to the Most High. So these are the curses we're going through. Now the curses are get, getting, lift, uh, getting lifted off of us. Because they're about to be transferred to Esau Edom. Go ahead. Deuteronomy 28 and 68. It says, And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. Right. How did Negroes get over her? By ships. Now, what Egypt was this talking about? The new Egypt. All right, brother. Which means, uh, uh, Mitzrayim, which means uh, double strengths. All right. Because even when you read the curses, it says, Heaven should be brass and earth should be um, a rock. So, hey, what's the famous saying niggas had? A hard place, I'm stuck, I'm stuck in between the rock, rock and the hard, hard place. place. Yeah. Right? Now, scripture says uh, the earth is iron and the heaven is brass. That's hey, the same saying. And from that, one quote alone tells you who the people of the book was. Go ahead. It says, By the way, world, if I spake unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. Right? Who was going to see our homeland again? Which was part of that heritage, going back to Jeremiah 17 and 4. All right? Go ahead. And there you shall be sold unto your enemies. For bond men and bond women, and bond no man shall buy you. Bond woman, which is slave man to slave woman. All right? Only happened to one nation. Yeah, you had slavery all across the world, but not one whole nation. All at the same time went into captivity. 
from right. the northern kingdom to the southern kingdom. That happened to us, and you can find that in Joel the third chapter. God, Mind you. That. All the nations had us in captivity at one point in time. Point Read in time. the book of Judges. Yep. You know? And, hey, and the script that was uh um after Joshua. So so the scriptures say there's nothing new under the sun. Yep. So what happened to us back then, hey, it, it is happening to us now. Yep. Transatlantic slave trade. Yep. Um, the uh, the uh, Spanish Inquisition. Mm-hmm. Uh, the North American Indian Treaty, yep. All, all, all of that. All of these things is uh Well it was the North American evil. Removal Act, something like that, right? Yeah, the greatest the greatest yeah. evil, you know, in the in the book of Daniel. You know? Talk about that. This is the book of Joel three and one. It says, For behold, in those days and in that time when I shall bring again the captivity of uh, the captivity of Judah and Jerusalem, right? The southern kingdom and the northern kingdom, you know? And what that that uh, I believe that's somewhere in Second Thessalonians that falling away first. You know? Second Thessalonians too. Yeah, kind. We are, you know we we fell away already. You know, the, but the Lord is bringing our heritage and our nationality back to us right. in these last days. Yeah. You know, and now the son of perdition is re revealed. So that's how you know bringing our heritage and our nationality back to us right. in these last days. Yeah. You know, and now the son of perdition is re revealed. So that's how you know we have to end this thing. Yeah. Yep. And oh, what was that Christ. in uh? In uh, Genesis, what is it, 49, when he's speaking to the children of Israel, he's like, these shall befall you in the last days. <laughs> Go ahead. I will also gather all nations and will bring them down into the valley of Yahweh Shapat mm -hmm. and will plead with that, them. That uh, Middle Eastern region, man, which all the nations are getting ready uh, to be ga gathered. The Lord said he was going to plead, which when you go into that word, it means judge. So the Lord is going to judge all these nations for what they did unto us, right? See, they, they think they just going to war. Uh, they, they think it's some political shit. It's deeper than that, man. The Lord is getting ready to pay you guys for all the things you did to the Israelites, man. All right? The big payback. That's the, the, uh, the con was it? The uh, controversy of Israel. Go ahead. It says, and I will bleed with them there for my people and for my heritage Israel, mm -hmm. whom they have scattered among the nations and part of my land. Now, how did we get scattered? Uh, uh, matter of fact, that's in jo Joel as well. It says to remove them far from their border. Well, how do you do that? All right, go ahead. Right, and it said uh, his heritage Israel, right? Yep. And Jeremiah says my heritage is like a speckled bird. Yep. So guess what? Since we've been scattered, we're going to look like everybody to you to black only yep. Israelites, goofball. To the 12 tribes scattered abroad. abroad. Go ahead. It says, verse 3, and they have cast lots for my people. And they giving a boy for an harlot. All right, what's casting lots? All right, putting the nigga up on a goddamn um, uh, auction block. Sixty on the soul. All right. Same thing they do to you guys in the combines, man. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Same thing they do in the, the, the NFL and the NBA combines. It's the same thing. They make them wear a hat. Y'all don't see it. They got they got a number on their back. Yep. All right. They running around doing different feats and things of that nature. It's the same thing. But y'all y'all yeah. don't see that. <coughs> Go ahead. And they gotta check your jewels too. Yup. Yep. It says it's so they grow for wine that they may drink. It says yea. And what have you to do with me, O Tyre and Zidon? And all the coast of Palestine. Right, which you, you Ishmaelites, man. Because you could, it, it's a lot of history between Ishmael and the Brits. And you Hamites, man. All right, go ahead. Will you render me a recompense? And if you recompense me swiftly. And don't hit me with all oh, well, those dark skinned people selling dark skinned people and just like. Doesn't matter, man. The vast majority of it came from me, so I eat them. Right. A lot of those people were Hamites uh, 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 selling over the Israelites, man. All, all nations right. are dark skinned except for Esau. Right. <laughs> all, all nations have a form of melanin, but Esau is the one that doesn't have a, a lot of it. He mm -hmm. has a very small number of it. Go ahead. It says that if you recompense me swiftly and speedily, will I return your recompense upon your own head? Right. And we're you, saying, no, you can't pay the Lord back for what you did to us, man. Alright? Now the numbers tell you how you cleanse the land by the blood of him that shed it. Alright? The Lord came, he uh if you he, if you still a man and he be found in your hand, hey, death has to come to you, man. And we're in, hey, like I say, yet in captivity until this day. Under uh -huh. the hands of Esau Eden. Doesn't matter if we was in Babylon, London, or fucking South Africa or Japan. 
All right, Esau and Edom, the elites control the world. They control the whole monetary system. All right, because the last time I checked, everybody, even Japanese, got birth certificates. All right, there's a re reason for all those things. Go ahead. It says because you have taken my silver and my gold and have carried it, carried into your temples my goodly pleasant things. Right, y'all sacked the temples. All right, and you, you, uh, and a lot of that stuff is buried uh, under the Vatican. My battery's not. All right. come on, come on. It says, uh, the children also of Judah and the children of Jerusalem have ye sold unto the Grecians that ye might remove them far from their border. Right, not Japheth, but it said, uh, uh, the, the Grecians, that's talking about the so-called white man, not Japheth, all right? It says that you remove them far from their border, all right? Grecians. Just like Psalms 83 said, come, let us cut them off from being the people, uh, uh, uh that we're basically get rid of the name of, it, of Israel, yeah. Yeah. all right? Verse 7 says, Behold, I will raise them out of the place where you have sold them, and I will return your recompense upon your right. own head. And the Lord is raising us up now, man. All right, the tabernacles of David is being built. That's right. All right. So with that, hey, we're going to say all praise, honor, and glory be unto Yahweh, Ba'ashup, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashup, Makar Kodash. Double honors to the other apostles, the great millstone, and salutations to the elect, wherever you may be. Ba'ababa. Ba'ababa. Ba 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 ba